There we go. I was waiting for OBS to pick this up. And of course... Mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. Diligent City on the mic. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Hey, y'all doing today? It's a boy, me, Diligent City, and we're live. And today, we're playing some of that, Oxygen Not Included. Back into the No Starter Geyser run. And, of course, we need to get more power. Yes, we do. We're going to bring back some salt water back home, which we already have. And that's going to help us out getting some salt. Uh, there's also going to be a couple things we're going to want to add to that, such as uh, some suits. That way we don't have to hold our breath while doing the desalinating. And so that later on when the hot salt water comes in, it doesn't cook the dupes. But right now we're going to be going to a different planet trying to tame a hydrogen vent. <laughs> Once we get that set up, I think it's going to be a great time. Alright, so we're back. Looking good. Looking good. So far is alright. Rockets are coming home. Nice. Can't complain, can't complain. Alright, so, oh yeah, we needed to make a spawn today. I forgot about that. Alright, so we'll need to get some oil here. We'll make a uh, normal setup like that. And I don't think we will need suits for this. I think once we make this, it's going to be easy. Alright, another thing is the oxygen line has to get relocated. That way it looks a little bit better. Alright, so let's seal this up. We're going to need our bottom emptiers here. And we are going to make our electrolyzer setup. I don't have gold. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're just going to use a normal electrolyzer setup then. Nothing too special. Okay, and then we're going to remove this to get the oil out. So the oil coming out, it's going to be hot. 35 degrees. So it might be a little bit of a problem, but it should be alright. We're going to get some oil here. And new printables. Take the coal. So our Somnium is already up. We have three beds ready to help out the dupes. Xandroff likes idling here, man. That's not cool, dude. He's just creating CO2 for them. And then I need to... Do we have someone on this planet? No. No more, right? Yeah. So there's some digging for some sand, but they're good for now. Oh, there's a pip here. Chillin'. Timo is starving. He just needs to get some food. He's gonna be fine. Okay, everything's gonna be okay. So this is good. We're not gonna need any more than that. And then we're gonna do the oil lock design. There's also needs to be a little bit of oil here, so we can set this up. I wanna do that now. Ooh. All right, so we dropped two kilograms, four kilograms, six kilograms over these tiles. Good enough. All right, we got the seal. So now we bop the middle. We get a easy oil lock. All right, now it's a vacuum in the middle. Do the same thing here. So now this is gone, and then this is in. Uh, we know that this is going to be a water line. We need to bring water from somewhere. I'll probably have to bring it from up top, realistically. Because it's pulling from the same spot, so. Uh, that means we'll probably pull it here. Ooh, straight up, huh? I could go like that. That makes sense. And then we'll just have that set up like that. Aw, oh, shit. What was that? Did someone just try to post a bad link? Auto bodied by Nightbot. Ew, man. No one saw that, right? <laughs> as long as that got bodied by Nightbot, I'm happy. We're gonna get that. There is a power line coming out here. Oh, we're gonna need to do the uh, 
the lion flip on the side. I will do that. Oh, I need to do this as well, because it's a top side, bottom side feed. Alright, we good, we good. Let's do that. So, we're going to be moving the hydrogen here. And we're actually just going to be using the hydrogen to power this. So, while we're going to have hydrogen here, this is effectively just going to be an infinite tank. So, nothing too special there. Um, for the most part, though, I guess we will want the tiles here. Because we will have to move a pipeline across. And we will want... Well, we don't need that instant, actually. Hmm. Maybe we could do a better line here so that we could have the bottom freed up. And then have it like this. And then we'll just put a high-pressure vent. Have that connect. We'll build out as much of this as we can. I'm going to move the O2 line. I have to. Otherwise, it's going to uh, get warmed up. I'm thinking about moving it up top, though. I might just also cut this line and have this dedicated for both the bottom and the inside. But realistically, I don't think that's wise. I think we need to have this. No, actually, we could have this for both. Yeah, because that's 16. Yeah, I might just do this to do uh, oxygen for these two and have this just be the outside. So for now, I think we're not going to cut the line so that we keep the buff. And then instead, once we have it ready, we'll just take over the line. That probably makes a lot of sense. All right, so that's going to be how we're going to have to release the gas. Uh, I do want to replace this. So both of these lines, so I, I want to bop the hydrogen generators so that we just use this because we get microchips and that's always going to be better. I just don't know if that's smart because I might not have enough power being generated as a result. Like this might mean constant uptime, but it's more efficiency. All right. And then another thing is we know we're going to get pumps in here. So it's here, 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 here. And then we want those pumps to merge together to feed out. That's fine. We got to get the liquids in, and then we need to vacuum the room. So, we'll need power everywhere. Uh, very realistically, I think it's just going to be like this. Right? There's nothing else that needs power inside. Just going to be a simple spine like that. We'll get the pumps, and then we'll need the Atmos sensor. Okay, and then we should get one for this one as well. Just in case. It should be the infinite pressure here, though. And that should be alright. Oh, the rockets are back. Nice. Oh, that's a lot of water. We're going to start pumping that. Cyberdyne, welcome in. How are you? I see you over there. Alright, so we need to ground this. Otherwise, the dupes are just going to start using all the bathroom stuff inside. <laughs> That's going to be bad. All right, let's fill the suits. Make sure everything's good. So water, water. We need water in both. 
Okay, so that's that, that. Get some water out. The pipeline for steam is connected. Let's pop that. And then let's connect the steam pump. It's not connected. There we go. Have a lot of steam, so we should be fine. We gotta refill the rockets. Oxygen's going in, which is good. Water is gonna be split. Nice. Uh, Philipsta, welcome in. I see you over there. Hope you guys are doing well, man. Happy Thursdays. It's gonna be blueprint reset day today, so hopefully we're gonna get some nice blueprints. So we're also gonna wanna pump water inside so that we could cool it down. Uh, yeah, we'll do that right now. Actually, I should wait till the pump's done. After we do the steam, then I'll do the, uh, the water pump from here. We're getting a lot of water. How do you set metals from the other planet to your home base? Is that through rocket? No, I'm using a launcher. So, metal tamer. And then I have a launcher right here. We charge bolts. We're gonna get one soon. I'll speed this up. And then we shoot it home. Gonna play some owning myself. Gotta get them blueprints. Yes, good stuff, Mr. Cyber. I gotta collect the blueprints, man. So we have a system right here that we mine out the meteors because we get some bad meteors here and they leave slime and regolith. So we gotta mine it all. And then we have a system to automate the scanning. And then we send the metal home anytime we need it. Now it's on automatic setup. We're using the hydrogen vent right here for power. That's how we're storing the hydrogen. That powers the gens. And then the gens only power the launcher and the Rad Bull. The metal refinery or the metal tamer right here. Three metal volcanoes. Uh, Self-taming setup. Self-powered setup. So that means I don't have to add any power to this. And then once we get enough Rad Bolts. Just like that. We get a shot. And then we're cleaning the launcher. <laughs> so yeah, that's how we send it home. I do the same thing over here for sulfur. So we have a sulfur tamer. The power comes from the solar panels. And then once we have enough rad bolts, we send back the sulfur. And right now we're trying to go to here. And instead of using... Uh, instead of using uh, wheeze warts, because that's what we're using here, right? We're using two Wii's wards for radiation, and then on this side, we're using four Wii's wards for radiation, so we generate the rad bolts. We're going to be going to here, and we're going to use the crushed satellite. This is pretty good rats, right? So we're going to be using that instead of Wii's wards, and then use that to charge. So we need to come back, tame, well, this is already done. The hydrogen is getting stockpiled right now. It's not bad, 125 degrees. This is mad cool. Temperature is not really going to warm up. So we're just going to do that. This is getting us hydrogen. This is a self-taming setup. We cool it down so that it doesn't bot my steel. We could actually use gold for that because hydrogen's not that strong. And then we're going to save George. We need to give him good food though. So we're going to finish the hydrogen tamer. And then we have to go back to this planet. Because I need to get natural gas. <laughs> if I don't have natural gas, guess what? I can't make the good food. So I feel bad. Got to get the good food to George, right? So we're going to need to get the nata gas. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Hopefully that makes sense, average dad. Otherwise, let me know if you have any other questions. I'm pretty sure I answered everything. But I'm not getting a response, so... I'm just, I'm just keeping talking. Because I don't know if you actually know what we're, what we're doing. <laughs> You got it? All right, cool, 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 cool. If you got any more questions, let me know. Otherwise, yeah, man, we're going to be doing our thing. But guys, if there's anything going on you guys are curious about, let me know. I'd be happy to help. All right, we're going to finish our spawn design. Uh, we're going to go with below here and below here. And what's my power draw? It's 3,000. Uh, that's because of the suits, right? All right, we'll work on the new lines first coming out. 
Right, because we're going to be replacing these lines. Construction. And then we're going to want to use the large power transformers. We'll use... We'll use cobalt. We'll save the iron for the other stuff. And then once that's built, we'll remove this transformer. And then we will add another large one and get a power line coming out. We'll probably bought more of these uh, batteries for transformers soon. Oh, it's in. Nice. All right, so we could remove this. Delete the power line. Oh, lag. Nothing else got caught in that. Nice. Let's remove this. Oh, I can't because the door is locked. Small transformer. Decon. Let's get a large one here. All right. So now with that, we had two conductive power lines. Uh, realistically, I want this here. No, oh, that doesn't change anything. Never mind. So that could do that. Okay. So we get two lines. One of them goes here. One of them goes here. And then we get a second line. Okay. That means it's going to be the bottom most. Okay. We could do that. So this is going up. That's fine. This comes down. Um, let's go out as much as we can. Right. And then that's going to be the design. Uh, this is going to have to go down. Here, here, here. This is going to come out this way. And then we're going to bop the line. And then it's going to be cut probably right here. And I'll probably remove all of this. How much is this right now? Nine. Si oh, that's not bad. That's I add four eighty on that. That is fourteen forty. Okay, we can actually add the pump. Oh, and then one side goes directly that side. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Um, let's actually reroute this so it's like that. Right. So then this comes straight down the sway. And then these come out to the other side. So this coming down makes sense. I want to run a line this way. Ooh, it doesn't line up well. So one goes into the bottom, and then I need one to this side. All right, we'll do it like this then. And then this comes straight down into there. We'll have this float until here and that comes down and then we take over the line effectively yeah that works and we'll be able to power some random stuff here too some small stuff not a lot though all right so power for the steam yep that's all backed up feels bad we're gonna lose a little bit of gas so anytime you see those shots coming down those are payloads so that's us getting resources uh, on the star map, when we do launch, you'll see them on the star map as well. But yeah, it is nice. Alright, so now this is gone. I am going to do that. We are adding water to here. Um, while we could add a little bit, I am going to cut this pretty early. The water is cold, so it's looping once. Alright, it's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so inside we have the food. Is there anything we needed to bring with us? So... We have the metals. That's not really a big deal, I don't think. Uh, it's on the Mars X. We have steel. Plastic, glass, lead. Uh, let's not do that. And then let's do refined metal cobalt. And then let's do 2,500. And then we take off sweep only. So we fill it up. We need a little bit more cobalt. Just because uh, I need some refined metal that's not steel. I don't want to waste steel. Water, on the other hand, should be great. 
Oh, there's no water here. What the heck? Wait, is the toilet on? No, it's not. Wait, where's my water going? What the heck is this? How do they give me no water, man? It's supposed to be even split. Hey, man. You're supposed to move. There we go. Can you send gas over interpl uh, interplanetary launcher? Yes, you can. So interplanetary launcher has a solid port, a liquid port, and a gas port. There's actually a little artwork picture for it. And then solid on the left, uh, liquid in the middle, gas on the right. So I know that because of the pictures. So I might not know how to read, but I look at the pictures and I understand. I am smarter than the average bear. Because the pictures, man, unstoppable. Well, let's sweep all this stuff. Uh, the wires are getting built, nice. That's actually pretty good. Cool, thanks, yep, yep. Anytime, anytime, I got you guys. All right, so the water is good. We have too much. And I think we're ready to go back. Oh, we're waiting. Oh no, it's filled, god damn, that's fast. All right, let's go back then. This is easy money. We're going to send six people on two rockets so that we could build faster. All right, that's going to be these guys. Wait, wait, wait. Is this filled? I just want to make sure. Because if it's not filled, I might be in trouble. And then suit docks are filled up, right? Filled with oxygen. Should be great. Um, we're going to go inside unground. So that when they do land, they don't immediately pee their pants. That's the classic dupe problems. They just pee their pants all day. Alright, now that that's good, uh, we can focus on this. So... There was this line. This was insulated. And while it's cool to be insulated, I need to move the H2 to down here. That is tough. All right, looks like I need this and we're gonna rock this design. And then, yeah, you see how there's a radiant pipe? We're gonna go deconstruct and then we're gonna click buildings. Oh, you guys can't see it because of Mamba. And then we're gonna do that design. This will only remove the tile, not anything else underneath it. That way I could actually build this rail. So this is going to bridge across, come down, and then this is going to come straight down. Uh, we'll probably want to reroute this. Right, that makes a lot of sense to be honest. And then this for now, we're just going to dump the gas out. So that we can create a vacuum. And that's what we need first. Uh, second thing is I need to move this radiant pipe down to here. That's another thing we're going to want to do. So I will actually do a very meme strat. Um, dude, that's actually kind of tough. So what I mean when I say I want to do a meme strat is... I don't know if it's going to be possible. I mean, it should be. But it's super meme. Super meme. Right, I'm down with the super meme. Uh, we will do it on the left side, I think. That makes a lot more sense than doing it up top. So because of the super meme, I will do it. So these need to be insulated. The middle might not have a tile. Let's do it one thin. And then that means these. These, these... Oh, do you want him in the sleeping room, dude? So if you guys are in the colony and you guys want to be a designated sleeper, let me know. I have three spots left, by the way. <laughs> we have three spots left. Everything else is taken, man. Oh, I got to get the painting right here. So if you want to move in, Mr. Banana Pajamas, we got you, man. You can part of the crew. Taco Void, May, Steve. We're going to get the toolkit over here. I'd love to. All right, we got Timo. Timo. Oh, shit. I can't. I can't. 
You're on a rocket mission right now. <laughs> Timo, I got some bad news. You're not you're not home right now. You're not at home, dude. Feels bad. Alright, so this is ready and let's fix this. No, it's not. It's a couple of pieces that we cannot reach. Okay, I need that. Yeah, let's get the uh, power wires done. Yeah, I'm on the rocket. Yeah. Rocket too strong, man. Alright, this is almost ready. You're just gonna claim a new dupe? No, man, this is gonna be like the last day. Or second to last day of this colony, man. Don't do it, man. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's... No! Alright. Timo, who would you like to claim? We got Harold, Gossman, Steve, and May. These are the sleepers right now. It's okay. All right, man, Timo, I got you. Let me know who would you like. So I won't get you any clothes because you're going to be uh, set into a pajama. You're going to be set into the pajama. Take a Steve. All right, man, welcome in. You have a special name you would like? His name is Momomin. Is that the guy from the anime? There was, there was a guy. And that was his name, I think. And he he's 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 uh role playing as a skeleton. So he's evil. Now he gets trapped in the world that he was role-playing in. And as a result, he gets um, all of the powers of uh, his character. And his character was like top tier, mythic raid, I have the best gear in the world type of character. Like he was decked out. So you know what happens? He's completely overpowered. And he's like one-shotting everyone. And at some point, he changes his name. <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes. Alright, I think this is wrong, then. Because of the meme strat that I want to do. We go this way instead. I think because this works, it's going to be okay. And then, how tall is this? Nine tiles. Uh, I might specifically need to use obsidian here. Yeah, I will. Just because I'm, I have fears. These need to be obsidian. I might as well get the second layer above it as well. And then everything else doesn't really matter. Oh, wait. Oh, I, I bopped the insulated pipe. Goddamn. Oh, it's a dreamer in Hollow Knight. I see, I see. Alright. We're gonna replace the wall, so... Oh, is that gonna be a problem? Let's not do that one yet. We'll replace that later. Once we build everything, we'll put the middle tile, and then we'll try to do something there. Alright, so the wires are good. Alright, let's pause. Let's redo the wires. It's going to be here. Oh, sh this is wrong. Okay, never mind. Uh, like that. Like that. And then this one is wrong. Yeah, we need that like that. And then we remove these. Let's put a priority on this. What loses power? This is... Oh, it's still connected. That's why. I was like, dude, how is that still... Oh, yeah, I see, I see. Let's get this one done to the boys. I need this lead ASAP. Come on. Give me my conductive wires. Nice. Okay. So this comes in. This comes down. We'll pause. We'll ship. 
Um, we'll come straight down. This comes down. This goes to the right. This is a deconstruct. Nice. Uh, same thing here. This gets cut. This gets cut. Let's remove that. Let's get the wire connection. And then that means this part gets cut. Uh, for the most part, this will connect to the bottom. Uh, we just don't know how yet. So we're just going to leave it like that. We need to finish building this before we could allow the vacuum to start. All right, speed that up. How much time do we have? Oh, they're landing. Let's go. All right, which one is this one? Stay inside. So... Let's get a new suit for Matikso. And then we have one for Esme. And then we have one for Ravka. All right, so that's on when it doesn't need to be. And then this is open. And then you guys crew one, two, three. D Mayor is sleeping. Timo needs to get a new suit. Ghost Rider as well. And then D Mayor once he wakes up. All right. Back down to here. All right, so this uh, we need to do insulated there. And then this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we go like that, like that, and then it's like that. So I should be able to do all that. This radiant pipe needs to be connected for the conductive panel. This shouldn't be too bad because this is polluted water. And it shouldn't freeze. <laughs> it's minus 30 right here, man. And I'm saying that it shouldn't freeze. I am going to be generating heat, so... I'm hoping for the best there. So this is already built in, done, and balanced. There's the igneous, or this mafic rock right there I'm a little bit mad about. I want to clean that out, and I want to get rid of the chlorine. But it's so hard to do that, I don't think it's worth it. I don't have oil here to be able to do that. Maybe that's what I should have brought. I don't have any oil in any of these. Uh... I could melt the plastic would be the only thing I could do to potentially get some oil. I have pee water. They like peeing everywhere. It feels bad. Oh, is this on? That better not be uh, draining power, man. That's bad. Okay, so I need to test this because I don't know if this shoots diagonally into the pocket. We need to test that. We get about five shots. No, no, we get about three shots a cycle. It's not bad. And then George, 99% decor, dude. Come on. Someone built this. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, we didn't need to do it anymore. Someone was just ugly nearby, and then when they moved away, the decor went up to 100. Let's go! Someone was not looking fresh, and they were hanging around the guy's house, and he was like, mm -mm, 99%. He left 100%. <laughs> That's rude, man. George be a real one, I guess. That blob of uh, chlorine mocks me. It does, man. It does. I need to. I need to somehow get away from that. I mean, we could just make a liquid lock. We might, dude. We should for the memes. Just use the brine liquid right here, dude. This is gonna freeze though. That's the meme about this. All the liquid here is so cold, it's gonna freeze. That's the meme right there though. All right, so let's put the water pump there. And then we don't have power here. Okay, we do. Let's pull a regular wire. And I think this should work. Dude, it happens, man. That's like the worst thing, though. Your dupe has negative decor, so they're ugly. And then as a result, they don't give you the uh, good setup. <laughs> That's messed up, man. Just saying. 
All right, we're going to do that. I should probably also mine this out. Oh, I... Oh, yeah, I got to watch this. All right, so if you guys didn't know, rad bolts can sometimes go through diagonal tile space. When we had the reflector with the head on this tile and going diagonal, it didn't shoot through. It exploded on this corner. So now, please no one keep walking by here, man, while we shoot this. Oh, don't work. Uh, that means then... I see another strat we could do. Aw, oh, come on, dude. He's gonna go to sleep. Ah, oh, come on. Thank you, Esme. Thank you for actually working today. We're gonna go this way now. I think it's the direction that it's looking at. All right, I'm hoping to be able to build this. Nice. And then it's bottom left. Here, 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 here. Now, if it fails, I do have a secondary backup that we could try. But we want we have to check this out first. So I have to wait for that. Otherwise, it's okay. We cut the power here. That's fine. Oh, the power wire is done. Oh, that means I need my bridge. Okay, that's good. So this is going to be a weird loop. There's no cooling. The cooling is just going to come from the map. That's negative 30. And then as a result, I'm just hoping that uh, my rad bolt doesn't always break. Oh, I need to set up automation for this. Uh, so output port is here. So that means they want me to do that technically. That works. It stops this from uh, charging unnecessarily. All right, and the other thing is solars. Uh, this is all done. I did want one more solar panel here though. Oh, we might not be able to reach that. Let me get this ladder right there. And then we get the extra radiation solar panel light. It's not bad. We got the tile there. This is... Oh! It got bopped still. Uh, Alright, so the second strat is this. You move the block to the other side. Because I think it might be this tile. And then by moving it to the inside, we still have the vacuum property. And then we still get the diagonal shot. I'm hoping that works. <laughs> we gotta see, man. We gotta see. We got it. This is the one thing we really have to test. All right, so that's built. Um, this is technically self-powered. How much power is on the watt line, though? If it's less than a thousand, I could get away with it. Oh, it's only seven twenty. Oh, it's because that's not on. That's not on. Wait, that is on. Damn, that's barely any power. Yeah, that's fine then. So this won't overload because we're only at a uh, 960 watts and we're just going to be adding water into the loop. Simple stuff, simple stuff. That should never jam. Oh, dude, you're going to get shot, dude. Uh, let's have the dupes inside so they don't just eat up the radiation all day. And then once we're done, we're going to have to seal this up. Uh, the reasoning why is because radiation actually gets limited by the... What? How come you're standing here? What the fuck? What was that? Why were you standing in the other guy's door? Dude, that was mad jank. That was mad jank. All right, let's see if this works. And shoot. Oh, it's this tile. Uh, we could do that. We could do that. We're going to test that again. 
Is it because it's two uh, cornered it's trying to go back to back on? Technically, this could help out. Oh, and then we also need to do a... Um... Do I need to do an Oxalite setup? So the thing with this is that the meteors on this planet are oxalite meteors. And when they land on top, because we're in a space vacuum, they will naturally just off gas all the way. Which is why we don't have much debris on here. They don't do damage. I either melted everything myself or I mined it myself. And as a result, there's almost no heat. I mean, not heat. There is no real need for like a bunker door setup. We could add a bunker door setup, though. That's the thing. We could add one. Now, the problem is, is that once the oxalite hits, it's, it's cool. It's just that we would also have to do a minor setup. I mean, all of that's not really necessary, though. Because we could just have it like this, and we'd be fine. We would just have to wait for the off-gassing. Uh... Another thing is, is that we might have enough cold energy to just mine everything too. Now you do want to have a door up top so that all the oxalate up here can get mined out. A Viper Death Angel joining the dupe colony? Oh snap, give me one sec actually. We need to see this real fast to see if this shoots. Nine and shot. A let's go! 48 rads, we did it. Alright, so this is the proper setup. That works, that works. I'm happy with that. Viper Death Angel, who would you like to claim? I want to say most of the dupes are sleepers now, so we have May. Uh, Harold and Gossman. Let me know, man. You're going to be one of the uh, designated sleepers. All you do is sleep all day, write in a journal, go eat a meal, and then go to sleep. Oh, you want to see skills? Uh, let's see if we actually have people that are missing. Uh, technically, we have Ellie. Ellie is a rocket pilot. Gossman doesn't really matter because... Gossman is just going to be sleeping all day. Alright, so Ellie's a rocket pilot. Gossman is not... He, like, he has interests, but like we're not going to do anything with Gossman. Same thing with Harold. And then same thing with May. Oh, we have Nikola, who is a cook. And then outside of that, that's it. I'm gonna take Ellie. All right. Viper Death Angel does not want to be a part of the sleeping crew. Instead, they be doing the rocket stuff. And let's see. All right. Since you're gonna be in a rocket, way to give you some clothes, dude. I haven't gotten a blueprint today yet, man. What the heck? All right. Let's give you the t Canadian tuxedo. It's time. Full denim out. Let's go. Welcome in. Welcome in. Viper Death Angel, I see you over there. Alright, we want to sweep up the items. Cancel move. We'll just do that. Uh, this is a regular tile. Put that at P9. Let's go. Thanks, man. For sure. We got you in. We got you in. <gasps> We're out of polluted dirt. Hey, is this true? That's awesome if it is. Oh, I only have 10 kilograms of pea dirt. Dude, we're out of pea dirt. Let's go. You have so many 9% Atlas suits sitting around. What do I do with them? You need to wear them until they go worn out. And then you repair them to full. Eventually, when they hit 0%, they're going to become a worn Atlas suit. And then you repair it with reed fiber. You do that at the suit forge. 
usually you want repair suit on forever. Dark Rat, hope that makes sense. You could also use a conveyor thing to deliver dream journals, by the way. That's actually what I'm doing. Oh, you're saying, um, the sweeper is actually good here. Alright, uh, we could do that. Why not? I gotta plug it in, though. We gotta plug that in. We gotta hide the wire in the wall, in the tiles as well. Alright, so now this is 16. This is 15. That's not bad. This might be removed soon, because we don't have P-Dirt. If I put Sweeper by Atmos Docks, will they still put Suit on the dock? Because right now the dupes seem to be picking random Atmos Suits, even if I micro them. I should have given it a go. Uh, I've never actually tested sweeping suits to the docks, actually. I'm not going to lie. You're microing your suits. Oh man, this guy's a real one. Only the real ones micro, dude. Alright, so now I need to do this. I believe. And then I could do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this is going to change here, though. I still got to do it like this, then. That's fine. We need this wall, though. Okay, so we're back to here. So we know the shot works. Uh, it's not plugged in. That's fine. We could charge this preemptively. It doesn't really matter. And then we have H2 ready to be shot out. Right? We have about three shots right here. This is going to be sent back to home. Yep. Uh, I guess it's really whether or not we care about the Oxalite. I feel like we could do some meme strats as well. Like, realistically... I'm gonna see if this does anything. <laughs> oh god. That's such a meme strat. Alright, let's swap suits so that doing this is faster. All right, Timo, Ghost Rider, and D Mayor. Welcome, in, y'all. Yeah, I've been trying to get them to repair some extra suits. Had on the rock before the next launch. Oh, yeah, it's tough. Hey, Kurisito coming in with the Prime. Thanks so much for the three months. I see you over there. Enjoy the emote 20 dice ad free viewing and don't forget that legit sub badge. Appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Don't watch you live, but I like your content. Hey! Shout out to you, man. Just, you know what? Thank you for watching, man. I was a small content creator. Having people that enjoy the content, man, there's a great boost of confidence. And yo, man, those are kind words, man. Appreciate you, of course. Thank you for watching the videos, man. I see you over there. But yeah, bottom right is Mamba. Y'all know the Mambas if you watch the videos. He's the kitty cat. And he is chilling right now. But yo, man. I see you over there. Of course, if you have any questions, Caristito, coming in live, that's the best place to ask, right? So if you have anything that you're curious about, let me know. I will try to do my best to help. Now, what am I doing here? We're going to get meteors. I don't want to build an automatic setup, so I want to see how far I could get away with doing something like this. So the logic is, is that meteors explode and they make contact with the solid surface. Now the bunker tiles don't actually get destroyed, so I'm thinking if the meteors are coming in at an angle and it hits part of the bunker tiles, it just becomes oxalite on here, and then it doesn't block our path, right? Now, of course, we probably would want to do something similar on the left side. I am just going to do it on the right, just because we have a lot more space on the right side for an angled meteor. And then we're hoping this is going to be okay. We'll, we'll test out in this playthrough whether or not this is going to be good enough. The Rad Bolt Gen, we only have one. It shoots diagonally. I need to make sure the dupes don't get shot either as well. 
And then another thing we're going to need to do is... I'm going to want to put a door here. So this is good, right? Let's seal that up then. And then we're going to put a door here. So that this part could vacuum. We want this part to vacuum. And the reasoning why is because the vacuum will actually allow more radiation through. Which means we get more rats. And that's always nice. Uh, why do you hate checkpoints? What did they ever do to you? Um, so the reasoning is not because I hate checkpoints. There is a mechanic in the game that benefits us greatly if we don't use checkpoints. That's the reasoning why. So the reasoning is because when you go inside uh, and you have a checkpoint here, this makes it so that your dupes always take off their suit when they come in. What happens when you take off your suit? All of the CO2 that you were breathing out from breathing in the oxygen, you have 75 kilograms per tank, gets released inside. So if you don't have a carbon skimmer, it's going to be filled with CO2. Right? It's going to be probably worse than this. Now, of course, that means you're probably going to get popped eardrums because it's going to push up the oxygen. And then that's a minor thing. The main reason is because your suits wear out. And when your suits wear out, you actually have to breathe. <laughs> now, you might be wondering, what do you mean? Don't you have to breathe anyway? No, when you have a suit on and it doesn't have oxygen inside, the dupes could breathe if they're in an oxygen environment. But there is a bug in the game that makes it so that when they're breathing, when their suit is empty and they're breathing out the oxygen from the outside, it doesn't actually deplete the oxygen. So that means my dupes breathing in here, uh, the oxygen never goes down. Because the oxygen that the dupes breathe doesn't actually get uh, taken away. So if you have a completely worn suit and you can't put it on anymore, you can't benefit from that. So by not having a checkpoint, it makes it so that we don't need to bring as much oxygen with us so that we'd have to, uh, you know, take longer to prepare and then, uh, you know, wait for that. And then everything else gets delayed as a response. So it's only because of the rocket mission that we're doing. All right, we're going to come back to save George. Everyone else is working over here. Uh... Quarter? Quartar? I'm not gonna lie, man. I don't know how to pronounce that, man. <laughs> I'm struggling, man. Just just trying to read that. How, how do I say that? How do I do the sayings? Cartar. Cartar. Yeah, so I don't hate checkpoints because I do use them back at home. Right, we got the checkpoints, right? But that makes more sense. We could deal with the gas, and then I want them to not have suits because of the, the penalty and all that. But for the most part, yeah, that's going to be uh, why I'm not using checkpoints, at least for that uh, that part of it. Uh, so I need this, and then I need that, and then I need to remove this tile. All right, we'll do that. Super critical, welcome in. How are you? Hello, hello. All right, so this is done. It's time for the meme strat. This is going to be Cobalt. Oh. Oh, that's right. And then Bunk. Oh. Uh, dude. I think I use Mechanized Airlock because this is better. Wow, I think I do. 16. Yo, dog, I'm doing it. Yo, Cthulhu. Dude, this guy, Cthulhu, if you guys don't know this guy. He's been watching me for years, right? Playing Oni. This is his first time doing Carnivore. <laughs> this is his first time doing Carnivore, man. He's been watching me doing it for years. And I was surprised. I was like, dude, how come you don't have Carnivore? Like, you gotta have it, right? He's like, nah, man. I never try to do Carnivore. And I was like, no way. So he's gonna get it for the first time, man. Cthulhu, big congrats. 369, 16 cycles to go. You got it, man. You got it. Yo, dog, I'm doing it. He's doing it live, man. Let's go. Oh, look at these balloons, man. That looks nice. 
Oh yeah, I just assume uh, you use them at home, but I never s see you spend a lot of time juggling suits on rocket missions. Curious what your reasons were. Thanks for explaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense though, right? There is a uh, suit bug that makes it so that they don't need to breathe. So it's really convenient, to be honest. Sup the raw blueprints today? You've been playing for more than two hours, but no dice. No, uh, the two hours on my stream time is from the crosswords, right? So maybe we just haven't played long enough. I'll give it another hour before I actually, like, wonder about it. All right, so I needed steel. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we don't have steel in here, right? Igneous and plastic. Plastic, igneous, empty. Oh, it might be bugged. You were playing this morning and nothing came out. Ooh, maybe it is. Maybe it is. All right, we're gonna have to move the steel back home because I need the steel. Oh yeah, we'll just do it like this. Uh, steel, and then cobalt. There we go. So now they will move all the steel inside. Let's go. All right, that's gonna be what we want them to do. But yeah. Thank you for the heads up, Mercato. Hey, got only question. My temporal tear open is obstructed, and I don't know why. So, you need all three tile space above your tear opener to be unimpeded. So a lot of times, you could use sunlight as a uh, indicator. So if light goes through, you have vision. But that's what you need. So if you have ice here, that technically stops light. I mean, not completely, but it's pretty effective. So you got that, and it's still obstructed. Huh. Gas obstructed. No, it's... Uh... The only thing you could have between it is window tiles, though. Let's say it like that. So mesh airflow, while I think they might allow light through, those are not possible. But yeah, your tear opener is obstructed and I don't know why. So it says obstructed here then, right? Gas shouldn't though, it realistically shouldn't. And I'm assuming it's charged. Realistically, no, yeah. If you have only window tiles, it should be fine. I would see if you could save, load, right? Save the game, quit the game to desktop and relaunch the game. It could be a weird issue where like it was blocked before. And then what happens is, is that um, the building isn't updated because of memory leak. And then it's clear, it just doesn't show that it is. A lot of gas can obstruct other space visibly things like mission control. It could be the same for the temporal tear opener. I'll try reloading. Because the thing with that, it's... This shouldn't be able to be obstructed by gas. Realistically. Realistically. But it maybe it can. Maybe it can. Because there are times where this is a little bit deeper, and having that be a vacuum just for that, dude, that's going to be tough. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be that bad, I guess. But yeah, try reloading. Let us know. Hopefully, though, it's not something crazy like that. The tear is buggy. It can be. All right, so I think we're ready now. Uh, let's crew so no one gets uh, radiation. What's going on, Ashton? Welcome in. Welcome in. How are you? Hello, hello. All right, so we got to do the finishing touches. So we got to connect this. And then the automation is... Oh, this is wrong. I can't believe it. I almost forgot. Okay, we got to cut this here. And we got to add a knot gate. I can't, I can't believe I almost forgot about that. Without the knot gate, I think this fails. How uh, good? How is everyone doing? Yo, man, we're trying. We're, we're seeing whether or not the blueprints are glitched. 
You know how you get blueprints every Thursday? None of us have gotten any blueprints today. So a lot of us are worried about that. <laughs> have you had any experience with the blueprints printing out blueprints today? Hopefully you have, because we want to hear some good news. Alright, so this is correct because that's full. Uh, I turn this off, and then I connect this. So the water's fine. Oh, I mean, this shouldn't be a problem. Like, we don't need that on anymore. I'll also cut the line here. So that we don't get overload chance. This is connected, max power. Uh, George doesn't have his thing on, it's fine. Everything else is fine. I think we'll be okay. Just checked mine. I've been playing for a while and nothing yet. Me too, man. I've been alive for at least 30 minutes playing Oni. But yeah, no word on the blueprints today. Alright, so this should be good. Let's power this. Going home. Shoot out the hydrogen. Let's go. Bang, bang. Oh, it's taking forever to actually... <laughs> I have to wait 200 seconds because it takes one second per kilogram to load in. Oh, that's slow, dude. What the heck is this? We do want max load size. So 200 is going to be the uh, setup for that. Yeah, so this is going to be hot H2. It's fine. Be like that sometimes, I guess. Alright, so we're going to see if this is okay. I'll probably launch right now, and then we'll look at what happens after the meteor shower, if it hits the uh, bunkers right there. Can I post screen chat? Yeah, could you post it in Discord? Actually, exclamation point Discord, rock. That way I'll be able to see it right away. Alright, and I think we're going to send these guys back. So we should be good here. 125, 126. So we're only waiting for whether or not the oxalate meteors bop us. Yeah, we should be good though. We should be good. Let me know once it's posted. All right, back at home. Let's see your print bouts. Oh, more pips. I'll say yes to that. Pips are friends. Let's sweep this tile as well. We might as well get that started. All right, so. I am going to be doing the ultimate meme strat here. This is nine tiles. Uh, I'm probably okay to do this. That's super jank, probably. Let's get a ladder here. Hey, what's that thing pointing at space? Uh, we're talking about this. This is the interplanetary launcher. So you could ship payloads and launch that home so that you don't have to like send people. This is how you would automatically, uh, you know, we have no one here, zero out of 39. And then once we get enough rad bolts, we just shoot out a uh, bit of sulfur. So if you automate everything here, in our case, we have solar panels for power and then everything else feeds off of that. We just have a delivery system so that we get the payloads going straight home that's what that is for the most part. Hope that made sense. It's all automation? Not really. There's barely any automation to this. It's automation in a sense that it's doing it automatically, but it doesn't have any actual logic in terms of like the automation logic gates. Mad Life coming in first. Only way to do it two hours later, Mad Life. I see you over there. Hello, hello. Cool. Does it send and receive, or does it have a specific one for send receive? This is send. Receive is a single small beacon right here. So this sends out a targeting light, so the launcher actually knows where to aim. So that's all that is. See? So if you build one of these, they will try to hit nearby within five tiles radius. And then if you don't have one, it's randomly on your surface. And then your dupes are going to have to go out and get it, right? So those are my two shots. So the receiving of the targeting beacon, 60 watts of power. The sending one uh, requires rad bolt and also power. 
Hey, Matt Live, three stream streak. I see Wolver there, man. Coming in first. Coming in with the three streams as well. I see Wolver there, Matt Live. When you when you gonna be going to that massage guy, man? You gotta get that checked out. Yeah, no blueprints, huh? Feels bad. Ruick, did you post? I could check it out right now. Oh wow. Dude. It might be the gas. Hey, Zoo Hyper with a three stream streak. Typing in something I don't understand. I'm looking at that, Ruok, and it looks like it's the gas. I don't think it is the heavy conductive watt wire because technically your dupes could walk on that and you could build ladders on top of that but it's it's looking like it might be the gas yeah that's very unfortunate if it is because i didn't know that you don't have ffz emotes i have ffz oh i do but i don't have them enabled for my obs i have Dude, does my name have the Franker Z badge? Because my name should have it. I should have the dog because I've donated to them. I actually do have FFZ. It's just only on my browser and not on my OBS satellite. You could use loaders to pick up the payloads and throw them into the opener. Oh, you can. Damn, I need to put them nearby then. Because I have my payload opener here. So I could probably put it here. Nah, I'm just gonna leave it inside. It's fine. I'll make my dupes do it. Can you pick up a payload and put it into a loader, though? Because I think you're talking about the sweeper, right? I have one right here. Halo. Oh, you can't. It's not selectable. That sucks. That'd be tight, man. You'd be able to sweep payloads and it goes into a sweeper that way. That'd be tight. I'd be down for that, man. I'd be down for that. You could sweep direct. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, oh, they didn't build this. All right, we're going to allow all access. That way we could build the painting and the power wire right there. Oh, sweepy. Yeah, but he can't climb through the liquid locks. That's the only downside about that. I think this is fine. We'll leave this. This is okay. I don't really mind having a dupe go outside. I think this is okay. We could try to improve it later, though. Right now, though, I need to focus on my spawn. Uh, so this is going to be a combo thing. So we're going to start getting deliveries of hydrogen, right? So with the deliveries of hydrogen, I need to actually send the hydrogen somewhere. And that's kind of what we need to do right now. We need to find or create a storage space for that. Toxic air. Oh no, this is steam. It's not toxic, it's hot. <laughs> it's 157 degrees Celsius, you know? That's kind of hot, man. I don't know if, if uh, anyone's ever felt that temperature before, but it's not safe. I would say it's rather dangerous. All right, so I wanted this. And then I was gonna cut that line. And then this line gets cut. And then we have this come down this way. It is hot. Yeah, man, a little bit too hot. All right, so I'm looking for steel. We only have about 250. Can I make some steel? We have a lot. Uh, so how much is this? This is 400 per, right? Yeah, it's 400 per. So we're going to want uh, 16, right? That should be good. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace these right here with doors. And the reasoning why is because they're going to have more thermal mass than regular tiles do. If I were to make this out of, uh, you know, cobalt, 
This is only 100 kilograms. This is going to be 400 over two tiles, so it's double the mass. And that holds more thermal energy. Although I'm going to be using steel over cobalt, and cobalt is going to be better. So technically, you know, we have that problem. Now, we're doing this because I want to run a radiant pipe segment in here so that we could run a uh, kind of a weird setup. So effectively, um, let's get rid of this. And then we're going to add water to here. So steel doors. And then we're going to run temp shift plates to pull heat. So that means we're going to want to set... Well, I, I, I want to do the doors first. So let's get the decon here. Alright, we're not going to decon this pipeline segment, it's fine. Maybe we should try to bop it though. Uh, this liquid lock is also in, so I can actually just plug everything in right now. So that we could start uh, vacuuming. Should be good. And then we're going to reroute some of the oxygen too, so that it's going to be a little bit better for us. Alright, get this started. But yeah, Ruok, sorry about that. I didn't know that the gases do indeed bop it. That's... Man, we learned today. <laughs> I learned something today. I didn't know that gases could bop the tear opener. Dude, I've opened the tear so many times. And I've... I speedrun the freaking tear. Goddamn. Like, I speedrun going to the tear. My record right now is 199 cycles. Getting from the planet, finding the tear, breaching it, and then getting the cutscene. I'm gonna try to beat that score though. I'm gonna try to get it in like 150 if I can. The ultimate goal is gonna be sub 100, but I don't know if I'll be able to do that. I do have some better strats this time around though, and we won't waste time. Also, I need to dump the oxygen right here, right? So let me do this. Just so that the oxygen leaves. Let's do that. Let's do that. And then we want this coming down. That's going to be for the hydrogen. That goes through down this way. That's flowing backwards. And then we're going to have to bop this line for this line soon. All right. Some of the oil spilled. I think that's okay. I will get the first door right here. Are we back home? Ah, nice. That's where the steel came from. Ah, oh, this is great. Sweepers will pick up Atlas suits off the floor and put it into the dock. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's actually great. I see you over there. Well, as long as I press deliver suit anyway. That's the one thing I really wish they would add. You know how there's a door copy settings button? We need that for the suit docks. Like, when you have a line of suits, you have to manually click deliver suit. That's annoying, man. Realistically, I would want that feature. Copy settings for the suit lockers. Uh, is this finally cold? So, I have the funniest thing. This is my infinite solid storage. I've been running an aqua tuner on the line below it to stop the freaking items from generating heat. <laughs> it's been so long. Looks like we don't need to do it anymore, though. Alright, we're just going to replace this with regular tiles, and then we're going to remove the insulated. It's probably okay now. Is speedrun randomized, or you just have presets? I random. I don't have a designated seed yet that I want to work on. So if I do get a seed, it's probably going to cut it by another 20 cycles. Because the seed's going to save us some time. But I haven't sped run um, the different challenges yet enough times to actually try to figure out a seed. Right now, the ones that I'm doing is probably Temporal Tear Speed Run, because it's probably the most fun right now. Oh, hello! What's going on, Alpha? Coming in with the 10-stream streak. I see you over there. Friend Vic, though? How are you? Happy Thursdays. Welcome in, y'all. Welcome in. I see you guys over there. Also need to make sure they're sweeping up this uh, the goods here. Quiet, but still watching. Hey, all good. No worries. Do what you got to do, man. We're just doing some meme strats for the time being. Nice. All right, so we need to lock the doors. 
Now the reason why this is cobalt is because it's in the middle. It makes the most sense. The last one I did was Space Race before DLC. Oh, I did that one too. We have that one in, I think, 72 cycles. And the reasoning why I couldn't get it faster than that is because I couldn't get piloting skill fast enough. That was mad annoying, man, when you had to get piloting skill. And it was like the last thing on the tree. Ah, oh, dude, that was the worst. I had, I had a glitch too that made that easier. I just... It got patched. <laughs> Going to bed, but checking out your dupe first. Are you in this colony, Friends Vic? Oh, you is. Look at this guy, man. He's going to bed. He's going to bed. Come on, man, go to bed. <laughs> he's going to bed just like in real life. No, he's going to the rocket ship. All right, I lied, friend Vic. We're going to ground this. And we got to ground that. <laughs> All right, guys. I have to BRB. I have to drop the kids off. I'm sorry, man. I really got to poop. I had some coffee with some milk today, and it's, it's not sitting well. Thanks for the help. I'm sorry, Ruick. I wasn't able to help you that much. All right, guys, I will be right back. Mamba's going to be here. Look at the cute little Mamba. All right, guys, I'll be right back.
Hey guys, we're back. Sorry about that. We back, we back. I'm a lot lighter. Feeling a little bit better. I apologize for stepping away. Mom, I'm sorry, baby. We gotta shrink you. Alright, we're back. Yeah, there's some gas right here and some problems. That's actually why we need to get this up. Oh, the vacuum's done. Nice. The doors are in. It's looking good. We need to do that. Sweep out the items. Prince Mamba. Dude, I totally freaked out. I had the stream in the background. I was playing Oni, and the yawning was so weird. Oh, yeah. Just hearing the, the dupes yawning. Yeah, I apologize about that. Pointed me to the gas. It's fixed. Nice, nice. Good stuff. Yeah. The oxygen is because we're not getting a steady line. Once we get a steady line, we'll be fine. That's going to be the goal. We'll get the steady line. Alright, so now we need to sweep that. And then I think this is going to be the water res here. We'll do both. We have a little bit of water, it's fine. Our meteors are everywhere, and that's okay. So we're doing this to get the water, and we're going to dump that here. Okay. Sweep that up if we can. Let's put a mesh tile right there. Alright, so why is this mesh? Uh, if items are going to fall in, they don't go inside the tank anymore. Another thing is... Uh, do we keep this gas line? Because it's going to stay inside, right? <laughs> oh man, no we don't. Alright, so can we move you to here? And then you to here? So that someone could go decon this ASAP. Our abductor. Oh, Mamba, where'd you go? All right. Let's get this to here. No, L Gamer. Did someone move the item? No. <laughs> someone move the item. No, move the item. Dude, move the item. Everyone's doing the wrong move. Matikso, you got no, 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 no. Don't lock him in. Don't lock him in. He's free. Let's go. All right, Mamba's is uh, sunbathing right now. It is time for the Mamba to sunbathe. All right, we've got the water now. Hi, right, what's going on, Tanit? How are you? How are you? <gasps> no, I messed up. No, I messed up. Oh, no, I messed up. All right, we're going to have to decon these tiles. And I think it's these two. No, I messed up. Okay. So uncheck the water here. No, I forgot about this. All right, so we need cobalt wires here. Cobalt uh, insulated. And then that's going to have to connect up top. There we go. Uh, and we will have it at the very end right here. So that means we'll do this that. Because I'll do it after that tile. And that means I'll have to go in to do that, which is fine. Tanit, I see you over there. Just got my first drop. Oh, you did? Nice. So that means maybe it's... Uh... Oh, you know what it could be? Um... What's that called? Uh, daylight Savings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was recently, at the end of March, a one-hour swing for Germany. Now, I'm not sure if Clay's based in Germany or that time zone, right? But if that moves forward an hour, right? 
that means we wait an hour later. So maybe it's something like that where the time zone made it so that it just started a little bit later on Thursday. And then we just get it. It's just, you know, later on. Hope you're having a good time. Doing our best at it. Doing our best. I'm going to pour me some black coffee so I don't have to, you know, take a dump. But right now, we got the hydrogen on the side set up. And we're just waiting for the H2. So far, so good. So we get the hydrogen tamer, power, solar panel power. And right now, we're just waiting to send home the gas. So we got the launcher ready. So, so far, so good. This is up. We're hoping to see this works. Oh, meteor shard is about to happen. All right. Oh, there it is. Guys, 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 guys. We got it, boys. Hey, decent. We got the purple undershirt. Dude, like we're playing basketball. A value-added vest for touching base and thinking outside the box using best practices ASAP. I'm down with that. I'm down with that. We'll take those. All right, so this side's cool. We'll come back to save George. Come back through to the top or something. Have to climb in, climb up, and then go down this way, that way. Say what's up to George. Also go down this way. Trying to let this kind of uh, gas out, though. And then right now, we are trying to generate a spawn for these guys. Daylight saving was last Sunday. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm thinking that might be why. Change in time zone. All right, so the radiant pipe is good. Let's move this. Oh, and then I needed to do... Uh... Oh, yeah, these are all good. Nice. Obsidian, obsidian, obsidian. Perfect. And then this is igneous. Move this here, priority nine. Let's put water back. Now right, we're good. So I need more water in this. Okay. This looks really jank, but it is what it is. Can I use standard critter trap as uh, any kind of source food? Or what is their purpose? Just H2. They are the best way to categorize anything that takes a long time like that is to call it supplemental food. It's effectively a rolling bonus because when you get it, it's really nice. But you will never realistically have a large enough of a farm that you would be able to strategically rely on them only, right? So the standard critter trap, while it's great, right? The problem is, is how long it takes, 30 cycles. And that's if you domesticate it. And if you don't domesticate it, it's uh, 120. So it takes you a long time to generate any amount of food. So what's good with this? You would use it to convert food over a long time, kind of like a stock investment. So you could either get a little bit of interest now by putting it in a savings account, but you're probably gonna get less than if you were to invest it in stocks over the long term, right? That's kind of like the idea. So, what this means is you could have this going and anytime you do have it kind of uh, make it harvestable, it's going to be a bonus amounts of food. But realistically, you can't rely on it just because it takes way too long, right? But yeah, I would call it supplemental food, something you would not mind having just to increase your raw calorie number, but not something to realistically rely on. All right, so how many tiles is this? So that's 52, and then 6, so that's 58, right? That's how many kilograms of water I'm going to need, 50, 580 kilograms. Uh, this is... I am not getting water from this side. What's happening here? Oh, we just don't have water. Do we have coal here? Okay, we have trace amounts. All right, we're going to actually refill this with coal then. That way we could send it across and it'll work fine. 
There we go. But yeah, and the render, hope that makes sense. Uh, you could use it for H2, you could use it for calories, you just can't rely on it. It's something that will exist and be there if you want it, but if you don't want it, it's kind of just chilling. Alright, we're gonna fill this up. That shouldn't take too long. Uh, we're gonna need to add pea water into here. 580 kilograms, though. How much do we have on this tile? 218? That's not bad. I guess we could dump all of it here. And just try to use whatever that's accumulated. Oh, you're searching for food resources. Kind of desperate. Uh, the most sustainable form of food is typically ranching. But it's also slow to actually, like, uh, accumulate as well. So it's one of those things where it's like, I don't know if you want to do that, but if you do, it's kind of nice. All right, because we're going to be chilling two spawns, so we're going to have to bop this and that. And we might just use this for ambient cooling instead, which I don't really mind, to be honest. I might not even need it. And then I need to make sure we're not crushing. Still going up. And then this is vacuum. All right, so we got to do the inside as well. So let's do one at a time. I don't want to mess this up. Meteor showers. Ooh. Let me uncheck that real fast because I want to see what's happening. Where's my meteor showers that's supposed to be happening? There it is. All right. Splash, right? Splash. Okay, that did nothing. Oxalide. Okay, we lose a little bit of solar panel power. That's fine. That's not that bad. It's off gassing, so it's going to be uh, losing mass pretty, pretty fast. This hasn't done anything yet. Mm. So it doesn't actually hurt the solar panels. It just turns it off because it blocks the sunlight. And effectively, they're entombed, right? So, covered buildings. That's going to fix itself, though. And there's not a lot of heat on that. Not enough to actually become a problem. Yeah, 100 some degrees. I mean, it looks like we're just getting lucky. They're just not hitting the launcher. And the moment I say that, we get a smack on that side. We have another 100 seconds of meteors. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Doesn't look like we have anything that's really bad happening. Like, yeah, we're going to have a little bit of uh, oxygen as a result, but... We're going to be okay. That's why we have batteries. The power is going to be okay still. And then it's just in tomb. So the meteor shower is over. We didn't get anything bopping us. So we probably just got lucky. Oh, dude. My bad. Mm -mm, my bad. Oh, shit. We added too much water, dude. Holy heck. Oh snap. Oh, that's crushing the water. Uh, I'm a little bit worried that that's going to actually cause some problems. So let me try to do this. I want this to spill to the left. And then we're going to move the igneous out. Because the reasoning is because if this is at a thousand and I build a tile there and it does a 50 50 split so half of it goes down half of it goes up this bottom part of the water gets pressurized and that's not good so we'll try to cap that off first another thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want cobalt temperature plates inside realistically it's only at the top but you know I got to put it everywhere uh we'll do it like that that's probably fair I do have a lot of cobalt. 
we'll do it like that. This side doesn't really matter as much, how much the cold energy gets pulled out. And then there's not that much pressure. Yeah, 1083. That's 8 tiles, 9 tiles. That's perfect. Add that, get rid of this, that, this, that. Now we have water right here. Nice clean, 1000. Move that up. We're going to get that inside. We're going to get the water. H2 line seems okay. Uh, we have to redo this line, so. And then we're going to bop the bottom line so there's no oxygen there later on. All right, that's going to be pretty good. Okay, and how much water is that? Oh, 300. This is not bad. Is that actually all the pee water randomly laying on the map? Because that's actually what I was hoping for. <laughs> Let's get the random bits of pee water everywhere. Oh, there's some inside here, right? Oh, they grabbed these as well. Damn, they were good. They're doing well. Oh, when we carbon skim, we dumped the water outside. Yep, there's none of it here. Okay. Yeah, there's no pee water anymore. Oh, we got to sweep the sign. That's not bad. Yeah, we could do that. Let's get that in. Let's do a trim. There is no polluted water anywhere else. And I gotta get this in before we run out of uh, oxygen for the buff. Mr. Uglar Fisk, I see you over there. How are you? Hello, hello. How are you? What is good, Mr. Uglar Fisk? Alright, let's cut the power. And while I want the bridge, let's also cut the pipeline in the middle. Alright, that's going to be water feeding into the bottom. That's how I want it. We're going to remove the mesh. This is probably fine. I probably should remove this tile, though. And then let's get the oil in. Alright. The pipes are works of art. I got the best pipes in the business. Alright, so we have this guy holding... 61.2 kilograms carried items right that's how we know that so he's going to deliver that much to the crude oil uh bottom up here we're going to pause and then smash it now it's 61.2 so that's full amount that's two kilograms roughly per tile that's two right there so we could do that just two all right so if i look at this there is a layer of crude oil there i don't want to put too much just because i don't want to generate any more crude oil so we're only gonna add as much as we need so very minimally right and then after we do that we're gonna move out the other uh bottles of oil out oh he's gonna pull that for this okay all right so 57.7 56, so 1.2, uh, 3.2, and then that's 5. All right, good. Let's move out the oil. I don't want any bottles inside, so we're just going to move it all out. And then this is just going to be clean water. Oh, wait. Uh, there's, there's small bottles here. I'm a little worried. I'm hoping they pull up the full... 200 from the very up top a little bit worried about that a little bit worried about that nope they're picking up the grams oh dude that's gonna be bad all right we're also gonna remove this because we have a vacuum already we're not gonna need these anymore yep 200 not bad so this is gonna be the one that needs more water all right uncheck that 100 per it's really good Let's get rid of this, and then we'll get the second pump in. I'm getting trace amounts of freaking water, dude. Zero Dragon, welcome in. How are you? I see you over there. Hello, hello. Let's move this out. This also needs to be a tile. Oh, let's make that a metal tile for the memes. Oh, I should make all these metal tiles, just because it's going to be more conductive. And then that way, the radiant piping is uh, not that bad. So we're using water right here as a buffer because this is going to be harder to heat up. So it's going to maintain the temperature a little bit easier. At the same time, it's going to be hard to cool down as a result. We're actually ready for this. So let's actually get the cuts in. 
this is a very jank looking. I will say that. So let's do it like that. And we'll bop this segment of, uh, of pipe so that we just do it like that. Okay. So then once that's in, we're going to want to add on the side. All right. And we don't have enough water, so we're just going to let it run. That being said, oh, 103. So this is perfect. Got to remove that. And we will need another conductive top here. This is going to be above. This is going to be above. And I do want to get rid of this. Uh, this pipeline should leave. And then want to make sure we don't break the gases here. We're also going to want doors here. We need to prevent access from breathing the oxygen straight away. Move out the igneous. Move out this igneous. Uh, I guess we can move out this ladder. This is a very unnecessary ladder. Then let's get the pumps in. And then we'll start the pump patterns. So... We're gonna use the G pattern. Because it's like GG, so to speak. It's kind of jank, but it works. Uh, no. I like the G pattern, though. It makes sense. Here, 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 here. Four. All right, we're going to go with the S pattern. Or a large pattern, like that. This insulated. And then these two is a merge. Okay, so now we're going to merge out to this side. So first things first, uh, this is going to go like that. We're going to remove the setup. And then this is going to be the backside pipe. Right? So this is going to be down here. And this is going to be regular pipeline. This is going to be insulated in like that. Okay, so now this one is going to be split into the reservoirs that feeds into the Somnium. And then we're going to feed into the... Hmm... So we're going to run this one, right? Most likely like this. And it's going to go into here. And that's going to be here, and then all of these. I guess we could try to separate this vent for this pipeline. Uh, it's possible. It's a little bit of a pain to do, though. Oh, no, I could do that. And instead of having this cross, I cross here. And then we just do two vents off of that line. And then it's one, two, three, four, five, six off of that. And then this is a half half because that's always draining. If anything, uh, we'll do it on the very top. So that we could do three potentially. I hear you, Mamba. Mamba's here, y'all. He's back, he's back. We're going to want that right there. Build out the rest. Everything is gas. Doors are okay. All right. I wouldn't mind some more cobalt temperature plates right here. Mom, I hear you. I know. All right. We're just going to do some. We don't really need this. But I'm just doing it just because. Mamba wants some head rubs, man. I know. I know, babies. He's getting some kibble right now. Uh, there is no CO2 here anymore. Let's zero this out. We are skimming this. Oh, that means we should mop this. Because this means that less CO2 could actually reach the skimmer. And then down here is all CO2 gas. I want to vacuum the bottom. I'm not even kidding. I think I will. I think I'll vacuum it here as well. <laughs> Vacuum this, vacuum that, and then this effectively just a door crusher for the bottommost layer. Alright, so we gotta get rid of the vent right there. Okay, this line is not like that. Uh, let's see. There's no other way to dump the- oh! For now, I could do this. To dump the gas. Let the vent- all the gas, let's go. And then you could get fucked. That's so much better. Alright, so we want that. This doesn't matter, so we just remove it. 
And then there's no oxygen that needs to be on the side, right? So this gets cut. And then it's like this. Looks good. I think this is correct. More or less. I will put a tile here. We're just going to put a single statue. Because, you know, this is in the way. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Let's get one of these cobalt statues. Okay, and then I need a canister. Uh, let's see. So, we have no H2. The easiest thing to do then is just to uh, extract one gas bubble right here. There we go. We're just going to extract. Just need one, two, cancel. Let's move the H2 to the bottom. That's where the hydrogen wants to be. And then, oh, we're done. Oh, we're done. Let's go. This is ready. Let's let her rip. Wait, wait, wait. This cooling line isn't done yet. I was going to say, let's let her rip. No, we were not done. Oh, so we need it to bomb this as well. Right, we shrink that by two bubbles. Uh, I have no pee water elsewhere. Can the dude dies radioactive? Yes, that is the one thing that is sure kill. And we got a blueprint. Watch out for that. So the value is all oh, watermelon glovelets. Short gloves feels bad. The uh, radioactive contaminants, if you ever hit a million, it's insta-kill. Mama, on the bed, please. On the bed. Hi, where's the cat? He's he's by my legs right now. He wants uh, some attention. I've, I've been ignoring Mama, so he's sad. No, he's he just... He just wants some attention right now, man. I don't know why. But Stefan, welcome in. He'll, he'll be on the bed soon. He's going to jump up right now. There he is. And there's Mamba. Enter the little babies. Oh, you guys can't build this. Because of restrictions. Alright. Alright, let's do the copy settings here so they could use it. This is allow. That's fine. Alright, so this is ready. Insta kill seems harsh. After a million, it should wrap around minus nine 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 nine. So it's not insta kill. There's just no way to not have them die. That sounds like it's the same thing, because effectively it is. And what I mean when I say that is that he doesn't immediately die. He just can't be saved anymore. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if that makes sense. So when you hit a when you hit a million uh, radioactive contaminants. Your duplicates get something called major radiation sickness. And radiation sickness, if it ever hits extreme radiation sickness, your duplicate can never recover. So there is a point of no return for radiation uh, poisoning in this game. I want to say the value is a million. I'm just not sure. And for the most part, you're only really worried about that. If you have all rad bolt engines and you're allowing the waste to kind of pile up underneath that's like where you would randomly get high dosages just because of that or maybe you're standing next to the reactor right but for the most part there's minor major and then extreme if you hit extreme i think you're dead like there's no saving that and what happens is, is that you could try to bring them back to the triage cot they just can't interact with it and at that point, they're just, you know, you have to just let them die at that point. There's no saving them. But yeah, that's the one thing about that. Oh, a dupe, a dupe with uh, wall the melt. Dude, you know what's the worst? I had a reactor, right? And dupes don't actually look at the radiation level for where they want to idle they look at the temperature and they want to go for a temperate area my my nuclear reactor was temperate it was green 
So I would randomly get major radiation sickness or radioactive vomiting. And I'm like, what? How? And I would have my dupes idle next to the reactor. And I was like, dude, this shouldn't be possible. Like, what the heck? Dude? <laughs> what are you guys doing? Oh, I see what's happening here. Oh, that's so stupid. They're grabbing the water from the storage and moving it back up top. Oh, I'm so mad. Oh, man. All right, we're just going to waste some power to do this again. Dupes, look at the temp. Unless it's lava, then it's like, oh, shiny. Dude, man, the dupes are just not smart, dude. They make bad decisions nonstop. LT, welcome in, though. I see you over there. But yeah, uh, Narender, watch out for the radioactive hazards, man. Uh, let me see. I think we will add one vent from this as a meme, and it should work. All right, so what was I going to do? Ah, yes. So this is done, and then we need to go inside, right? Oh, no, I need a pee water. That's right, that's right. I needed to get pee water very quickly. Um, I'm just going to pull from here. But we're going to have to do it, like, in a very weird way. So, realistically... I'll have to do this. Alright, so we'll just do it like that. And we'll temporarily cut this line. And this is done, right? So this is decon. We're going to move out the radiant piping, this piping, that piping, that piping. The power is not going to be needed. We're going to remove this and the pump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to get some pee water for the loop to finish. I want the loop to be like chilled before I actually like turn this on. So this is at 20 degrees. So this is like pretty good already. I'm not really that mad. Okay, let's grab the mushrooms. We never eaten that before. Let's also remove the insulated tiles from right there. I'm pretty sure most of the items are cold now. Just wonder because I just played my first game on max difficulty and I want to use radiation of a satellite to generate a to my research. Oh, dude, yeah. If you play max difficulty, man, the, the radiation's insane. Like, a little bit of radiation and your dupes are vomiting. It's insane, man. Watch out for that. I don't have any suits or anything. Anything my dupes need to go near it. Yeah, you're going to want lead, most likely. Lead suits. You could get away with not wearing suits. You just kind of have to make sure they don't accidentally just idle there. <laughs> but yeah, you got to watch out for that, man. Actually, now that I think about it, if dupes are looking at the temp, it's probably environmental temp. So a splash of lava in a vacuum, I bet they think it's cool. Ooh, that's a good point. But yes, they specifically look for the green temp right here. So if they see like the tiles are around the temperature, they will idle around that area. But yeah, this is vacuum and then the magma. That's hard, man. I feel like dupes just don't consider the magma. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, for whatever reason, they consider it like it's water. They're willing to stand in it. <laughs> and it's like, dude, you didn't need to, though. They're like, yeah, but I chose to. And I'm just kind of like, yo, man, what the heck? Oh, okay. So, oh, we're getting water again. Nice. Okay, so now we do this. We do that. Let's cancel. And then we're going to add water to the loop. All right, so one thing about this... Oh, I didn't cut this yet. That's fine. We're going to cut that... Oh, I can't cut that later. All right, we do that because we have to cut it now. And then I do this. And then the one thing I need to watch out for is to not let the AQ run. Uh, Weird, weird trick. If you just unplug your AQ, you can never jam your line. So if you fill it up while it's unplugged and then you remove the bridge and then turn it on, it should never be jammed. That's the logic that I'm basically trying to say. All right, we got a filled line. Let's go. All right, let's move out the Ignis. Stop rubbing your eyes, man. All right, so now I want to do this. To allow the water to back up. What? Uh, they need me to connect, uh, and they want to take turns. Oh, it just wasn't connected. That was jank. There we go. 
All right, it's gonna feed. I'll just save lag. We want to cut this. Decon small wires. We do all that. We'll cut that, and then now this is connected. All right, let's change this to. Now we keep it there. We're getting water now. It shouldn't really matter. So they're gonna share the water, right? Water that's here and water that's there. So it's gonna share that and that from the sieve. That's fine. This is connected now. So actually, we're gonna replug this back in. It's gonna maintain temperature. We'll let that rock. Uh, I want to say that this should be okay to work. Yeah. So let me cut this, cut that, cut that. Let's get rid of this. Let's also lock the doors. Actually, that's correct. And then I want to do that connection. Okay, that's fine. And we want to disconnect this one. This needs to be connected. We should have gotten a little bit of hydrogen. Yes. Wait, how come it's not moving? Oh, that's not connected here. And let's empty out this hydrogen. That was supposed to be what we did, but I forgot about that. We don't need to anymore because I forgot that we have the payload emptying out the H2 that we we're getting from the other planet. So technically that's all we need. But we're gonna open it anyways, nice. So this is good. So this is the design. So the proper way to do this is to do one electrolyzer at a time. And we did the pre-fill. Right, so we have the pre-fill, hydrogen at the bottom. So we want O2 up top, this is sealed. This is at above a thousand. And then we wanna do one electrolyzer at a time. Each liquid layer is any amount of crude oil Realistically, it doesn't really matter how much, you just need some. But you want it less than 100 kilograms per tile or at 100. Water, you want it at 100. Any other liquid, you want to add 100 per tile. And now, it should work. O2 up top. There it is. All right, perfect. Now we got the design. So let's lock this and connect the bottom. So now that this is going to get water, it should be a natural filtration as well. There it is. And now our temperatures. Okay, it's a little bit slow. Not really that cold. Uh, what do you mean proper? I can't find the term in the Oni wiki. Proper is a relative term. That is relative to the user using the term. Yes, I too am a user. What am I saying? I know some of those words, yes. All right, 24 degrees, that's not bad. And then when it comes back out to here, it's around 15, that's solid. I can't really be mad about that. LT, that's meme, right? I just wanna make sure, like if that was a real question, I'd apologize, cause I'm memeing. <laughs> but I wanna, 100, that's meme, right? That's not a real question. <laughs> I just want to make sure. All right, so now we're good. Uh, we're going to cut this line. And then we can connect this to the bottom. Here and here. Oh, we're not getting the buff anymore. Oh, dude. Oh, we have like 50 journals. Oh, yeah, man. They just need some oxygen. We got it. We got it. Uh, we will want to redo this line. So that this becomes a vent. Until that happens, we'll allow this to go to here. And then once we get this one, we're going to cut the line. Oh, this one isn't connected. That's fine. We want this for the Somnium right now. Just so that we get the buff everywhere. Okay. Maximum aptitude. Let's go. Getting all the oxygen now. Alright, so this is effectively our infinite storage now. Because we have uh, oil on the gas lines right there, coolant right there, not bad. It's going to re-pump out into here, which feeds the hydrogen. It's going to share with the top, because this is already there, and we have a lot of H2 up here. Uh, we didn't want to go back in to make an infinite storage, I just made a new one down here instead. So that's going to be how we're going to utilize this. 
Ah, you have about, you have less than one third of my hours. <laughs> you gotta pump those numbers up, LT. Those are rookie numbers. I have over 3,600. <laughs> gotta flex that. All right, let's sweep, sweep. Oh, you guys are not supposed to use the toilets down here, man. What are you guys doing? All right, so we gotta lock the dupes back out because they like using the toilets here when they're not a pajama guy. Feels weird, man. Get out of here. All right, building, that's fine. You gotta leave, though. All right, now the guy's banned. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Didn't Timo... No, Timo bought another dupe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Never mind. I like, didn't Timo want it to move in? <laughs> Completely forgot about that. No, I think it's fine, right? Yeah. So let's get rid of that. Everything here is looking great. Can't complain. Uh, we'll have this plugged in. Yo, man, we're just memeing Royster. It's 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 a meme in the Oni community that the tutorial is like the first thousand hours. <laughs> it's just a meme. It's just a meme. No worries. No worries. Of course. So if you have questions, Royster, let me know. I'd be happy to help. All right. So I think we're good now, right? We could add three more people to this because I wouldn't mind. And then the oxygen is going to be... It's being delivered. Can't complain. So because this is 500, I could split this line. I think that's pretty good. So let me cut that line. And then we'll connect this line. And then we'll bop this line. And then we'll do the three here. So it's a 50-50 split. But the second half of this 50-50 split between the three. All right, so hopefully with that, we're able to add enough oxygen inside. I'm going to help him with a boost. This is going to be meme strat because we have nine tons of bottled oxygen. Oh, dude. Yeah, this is going to be super meme. Uh, at the very top of the map, I have a canister over here of 3,600. <laughs> oh, this is hot oxygen. 38 degrees. Hey, I can't, I can't sweep this right here. Hey man, I can't click on this bottle that's like halfway showing out. Yeah, I'm not gonna open this. It's a little bit too warm for my liking. I was gonna move one of those canisters down. Uh, 31 degrees, 28, 29, 31, 31. 38 28 the 28 it's probably the best we'll move oh it's only 100 yeah 28.8 2000 kilograms we're gonna move this one to here and then once that's moved we're just gonna pop it open hi do you know if you can connect generators with conductive wire and use a transformer to get into a heavy battery grid so you're saying, can you take a conductive wire from the steam turbine, put it into the top of a transformer and feed it into a battery bank? Yes, you can. That's exactly what we have here. So you're saying, can you reverse a transformer? Yes, you can. A transformer is how you convert a wire, whether it's, uh, oh, no, not like that. That doesn't work. So for whatever reason, the moment you tie a transformer to the battery grid, you stop running the wheel in the gym if your battery grid is full power. So you know how when you have a battery grid, you have a smart battery? And then that stops the generators from running because you hit high threshold. Uh, if you just have no space for power in general, you don't run the wheel anymore. So, technically, no, you can't do that. Realistically, you just run something like wheel into a light, right? 
and that's realistically all you do. Something like that, right? And the reason why you do that is because the AI doesn't allow you to use, like, excess power without having an extremely large battery bank. So, yeah, it's a little bit weird like that. I haven't figured out a way, so I don't know if it's possible. But yeah, you can't realistically have the dupes run on a wheel so that you get free power that goes into your central grid. While having that be something you could do all day, somehow the AI makes it so that they just stop doing it. And at some point, they just be like, oh yeah, battery's full. So yeah, sadly, no. I don't think you can. Yo, man. But you kind of need the power, I feel you with that. Um, the best thing for you to do then... Uh, dude, there's no real easy way for that. Yeah, there's no real easy way for that. You might be better off um, making it so that you have a battery bank tied to the wheels and have those wheels power a couple of things that don't use that much power. Right? Something like, um, you know, the research could be on that because you're not really running that all day. Maybe if you have a bathroom sieve, you could put that on there if it's not constantly sieving. Right? Things like that. You could put like small power consumers, maybe the sweepers for your ranch. Right? Because they're not running all day. They're running like sporadically here and there when there's an egg, right? So that way you'll have those things off of your main grid and then you just run the wheel for that. But yeah, realistically, it's it's hard. You're going to probably have to like take it case by case. Now we're going to remove that. You could save some power infinite hydrogen storage. Make the input line the first output. Oh, I could do that. How come this is not pumping though? Oh, it's not connected. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like that sometimes. All right, let's get the bridge here. That way we save a little bit of power. Sadly, I can't really do that here, though. It's probably fine, though. On the top side. This one, though, we get that slight improvement. All right, so that should be all gravy in terms of the power. Can't be mad. All right, nice. So we're getting the hydrogen because we're still getting some sent back. So we know that works. This planet, we took back all the salt water already. We could try to get some more from the geyser. I don't know if I'll need it, though. The pea water seems to be okay. Uh, on the metal volcano planet. We got to go back to grab some natty gas to save George. We'll do that right now. And then we got to do the rockets then. Yeah, let's do that. Got to charge the same two rockets. We're going to cut that so we don't lose that. Oxygen has been leaking. Let's cut the, let's cut the line. Okay, we wouldn't mind the O2 here. That's okay though. And then we got to get steam. Okay. So, realistically... I might send this rocket. And the reasoning is because we have space inside. <laughs> I'm thinking about adding a gas res and holding a thousand nano gas. That wouldn't be bad. And then we would land over here, right? All right. Oh no, I can't use that one. I need to use a rover rocket. Because of the slime. Okay. So this has the rover trailblazer. And so it's this one. We'll bop the telescope and we'll bop the uh, lab right here. Oh, this has been active? Oh, man. And you're going to eat here. Oh, dude, what a guy. We got to ground this, man. What are we doing? Uh, there is oxygen inside. Okay. So, gas res. Let's get the party dots. Okay. Uh, insulated gas pipe. We'll do that. 
and then this comes in here so that later on we could reuse the line to have the natty gas exit and we'll cut that because i think that's smart uh none of this needs power and it's only going to be stored inside okay just a little bit of water then let's get some agua okay and then we got to fill this rocket okay let's cut the line these don't really matter we're just going to try to get this one set up okay so this one needs a guy that could dig so viper death angel oh you were the ellie oh that's right now we're not going to set an ellie uh who has the highest rocketry skill so piloting let's look at all the pilots 10 9 20 damn this guy's a beast 24 jesus christ i thought he was strong but that guy's stronger all right, Susumu is going to be the pilot. No, Susumu is decked out, right? That's why he's going to get stressed. Yeah, he's 31 out of 12. Oh, he got piloting too. Oh, he could be even faster. Jesus Christ. We don't need someone like that stature. Right? No, it's going to be faster, though. Yeah, we'll send Susumu. Uh, we need someone with digging skill. That's nonstop naps. Oh, is he not here anymore? There he is. And then... Land. Get to here. Pump up the gas. I guess we drain the water into here first. And then we have to build a liquid lock. Yeah, that wouldn't be bad. Regular gas pipe. It's looking like it's going to be able to use. Yeah, the temperature's not too bad here. That means, yeah, those two, I think it's good enough. We also get the Frozen Friends. Okay, so... 69, 70. Looking at the inside. We have steam inside, it's not bad. A lot of oxygen, so this is okay. So we could actually just have this plugged in. And then the gases are just going to flow out. Uh, that's the vent line, that's the storage line, this is okay. 5.8 we actually don't need this then so the o2 is going to come out here that's oxygen nice all right that is all set not bad not bad we'll go get that set up right now let's get the free steam it's not free though i had to pay for this and then we're going to try to get some natty gas and then we're going to i need a gas range then huh yeah, we'll have it here. Ooh, I'll have to have a payload line. No, it's not going to be a payload, though, because we're just that's going to be a one-time thing. Feels bad. That's going to be a one-time thing. Why is this so hot? Oh, it's the oil up top. Oh, we're going to we're gonna want the Weezword up top again, then. So that we can chill it down. Uh, let's put the gas range down here. We will need it. Let's make that out of copper. Pull that down. We get some easy power. And then once we do that, we need to make sure to spice the food. And then we need to also make sure we don't eat the food. That's going to be important. Don't want to eat the food that's supposed to go to the uh, hermit. Where is my steam? All right. This is going to be good. Let's have this go to here crew this is ready nice and then we're gonna launch all right so the steam is gonna be flowing out we're just gonna send the steam to the other rockets because they're gonna need it this is at 100 this is at 94 so once we launch this is gonna flow backwards and we'll be okay let's go One hundred three ninety-four. yep and it's okay All right, next thing we got to do is... I think we're setting up for the tear. Is that the next thing we do? I think, yeah. I think that is the next thing we do. We got to set up for the tear. So we got to breach the tear. We have a rocket here already. 
And for the most part, yeah, we don't need to grab anything from the inside. Okay, so... We need to set up this rocket for that. It's going to be these two again, probably. Send this one, and then build a second rocket platform. Send the second rocket. 127, 121. Okay, that's fine. So we're going to need the reactor, right? Because we're trying to generate rad bolts for that. I'm not going to use wheeze warts. So we're going to build a reactor. That means we'll need refined metal. We'll need minerals, probably obsidian. Because we're not going to cool this. We're just going to use it so that we could generate enough of uh, the rad bolts. We'll probably need four. And then we'll probably want joint plate and reflectors. So I will need plastic. So plastic, refined metal, minerals. Okay, that seems very straightforward. And then... Do we need glass? Oh, coal. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have 300 tons, so that's great. Yeah, we're going to need a power source of some kind. So I'm thinking coal is going to be one of them. I actually wouldn't mind if this was mesh. So that everything just falls through that and into the bottom. So we could do that. Coal gen, coal, metal, minerals, and then plastic. Yeah. Speed this up. Yeah, we're going to have to top this off. Cut that. And one fitty. Oh, this is going to max out too. Feels bad. I don't want too many pipes damaged. We're just going to do it that way. Oh, we have a new printable though. Take the bristle bears. Which one is this? This is the... What's the name of this rocket? The Mars X. Okay. All right. So the inside's good. Food. Uh, we got to make sure we basically fill this up. So steel. Ooh. We don't need that there anymore. Let's move the steel outside. We did not need that. Uh, lead. Plastic. Is that enough? How much is this? 200. Okay, that's enough. We won't need steam turbines. And then we would need minerals. We wouldn't need the glass. So we would want... Let me grab cobalt here. I'll grab five tons of that. That's going to be the metal of choice. Grab five tons. Oops. Obsidian. Five tons. I'll have to enable this like that sometimes. Oh, I hit enter, so it's disabling it. We're moving the steel. This is fine. So minerals, metals, plastic, more metals. And then we're going to need coal. Um, no bins, huh? I guess the lead's not going to matter. Let's bring max coal. And then we'll have minerals on the planet as well. And then with the metal, we could build the second platform. Yeah, it should work out. A lot of water right here. Just get rid of the tile. Oh, man. This is constantly consuming the oxygen. <laughs> I don't think we actually generate enough. Yeah, there's, there's stops here and there. And we're not realistically consuming at the bottom. I mean, we're not backing up. Yeah, it goes up and it goes down. Oh, man. So what we really need to do is, yeah, to get this uh, pressurized up top. At least the CO2 doesn't pressurize anymore. And we don't have the sleepers waking up in the middle of the night. Oh, we also have this. It's time, boys. Let's empty this. 2,000 kilograms of oxygen. No one's going to get popped eardrums, right? Oh, dude, you're talking on the phone, dude. You're supposed to open this. What the heck was that? Come on, Nicola. Nicola, where you at? We need you, buddy. Hey, there we 
go. You guys can't tell, but it's like 30 kilograms per tile now. All right, so we're going to get some pop eardrums. It's fine. They're going to be asleep anyways. All right, so now, yeah, the gases should back up. Right? Because we're not going to pump anymore. And that should allow us to accumulate some oxygen. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so now we need to have this here. There's no more H2, but that's fine. And we could pump from here now. Nice. So they're actually sharing the line. It's no big deal here. 60 kgs. This is still in grams. And then it looks like we're pulling out the energy from the water fast enough. This is staying at 20. It's about 27, 28 on this side. Alright, we could mop this up. Still flying to there. We wouldn't mind some oxygen in the lines. I mean, it is connected, so... We just don't have power. So we could actually go with this right now. I guess we should start. Uh, same crew. So this is Espe, Matikso, and Ravko. Yeah, that's fine. Frozen planet. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I can't do that. I forgot this requires us a double boost. So for us to actually make the trip home, we have to have steam inside here. Oh, dude, I forgot about that. All right, so we have to have that connected, which is okay. So that's likely right here. Uh, cut that. All the other ones are cut, so we should deliver into here. And then this goes directly into storage. Same thing here, so we're safe. Okay. I forgot that we had the double jump, so we have to fill up the uh, cargo canister with some steam. Okay, so down and then to the right split. Alright, so we could overfill this. We could leave that alone. Yeah, it's splitting right there. Can't be mad. Now, do we have enough bedrooms? Uh, so let's see. 4, 8, 12. I need to replace the 16. 24, 29. And then we have 10 dupes here. 39. That's about right. I don't think that's... Yeah, I think that's about right. Okay, so let's move out a guy into here. I think we have a Nikola that actually hasn't been uh, assigned to anything yet. Yeah, alright, so... Hey, what happened to my PJs? Hey, what happened to my pajamas? Someone stole my pajamas. Oh, they moved it there. Alright, so all three are going to get moved to here now. Should be good. Alright, rockets in orbit. Uh, so the trick with this is we actually have to launch a uh, rover. Oh, I can't be trying to go in while doing that. All right, we got to change. We're just going to park. And then it's still grayed out. You hit escape. And then you go back out the star map. And then it's not grayed out anymore. And then you drop a rover. Let's go. All right, so they can actually walk and open doors. We're going to do that. Do this. Also want to decon the lander. Yeah, rovers being like that, man. They walk in the open doors. It's, it's pretty nice. And then once we do that, we want to land. Mr. Rover, you're just chilling, man. You're not going to do anything. The old rover died right there. We're not going to be able to save you, man. You did good, though. You did good. All right, crew, we want to do a suit swap because of the uh, what you guys are doing right now. Hands on the knees, out of shape, can't breathe. 
I'm, I'm not gonna lie, man. That's me a lot of the times. Out of shape, can't breathe, man. Alright, so now we do that. So the intake is there. Uh, let's grab insulate it to there. And then a regular gas pipe like that. Alright, now that that's there, we could work our way to this. Uh, did we have water? I, can, I mean, I see it. Just don't know if it's enough. Oh, we have a lot right here. Okay. So, I could pitcher pump this. So, the reason why I wanted to make sure we have water is so that we can make a liquid lock. Polluted water is going to off-gas. That's never going to be that nice. And then, this design, this design should allow... Well, that's not a lot of water to spill. That's probably the better plan. Because I could climb down here, and I could go from here to here. And then from here, we dig a tunnel, and then all the water spills out. And then we're going to want this natural gas. It's going to be nice. So what are my dupes doing? Oh, is this grounded? There we go. So now they could use the uh, stuff inside. So you and you. Oh, you're actually doing this. Good stuff. Let's go, let's go drain the waters. Alright, we gotta wait for it to drain, because if we build tiles now, it's gonna be a bad time. We could uproot this, though. It might be in the way later. And I guess we could build out the pipes for the time being. And we're gonna be using granite, because we have a lot of it. All right, pull it out to there. Speed this up. Let's check on the steam back at home. I could over pump this because this is not uh, limitless, right? So you want to go into here. You want to at least 150. And it's getting close on both sides, so that's fine. Just leave that alone. We should have enough space. I don't think there's an infinite spill anywhere here either. There's trace amounts of cobalt here. Otherwise, not a not a lot of anything. Oh, nice. So this is full. Oh, and there's no more metals. Nice. So this is effectively the metal tamer in its prime form. So now it should never actually back up. And everything should always be balanced. Because we allowed too much metal to accumulate early on. And that was a bad thing. So now with this, I think this is better. Still waiting on the dupes, though, right? Oh, they're inside? Wait, they're outside? Oh, no way. Oh, they are. That's so stupid. I hate this. They're delivering items to here. Oh, my God. Instead of actually working. I'm so mad about that. Dude, there's so many times I do that to myself and I don't realize it. I was moving items inside the rocket instead of building the actual blueprint. Not gonna lie, man. I hate that stuff. Alright, so... Bam, bam. 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 And we need this priority nine. Right? Because this is a simple liquid lock already. We see it. So, here, here, here. That's going to be what we need to build if we can. Oh, he's getting radiation sickness standing next to the Wii's words. Feels bad. Oh, don't get shot. Oh, it'd be bad if they get shot. It's going to take some time. It's real close, though. Oh, where are you going? Oh, he's going to get shot. Ooh, that was close. That was real close, man. Not going to lie. That was mad close. All right. And then now 
I want this. Let's also mop up the water. Let's go. Alright, so P water move. Because it might bubble up. Are you trying to break the 1 million rat mark? No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't worry, man. He's going to be okay. He's just feeling a little green. But he's only 128. You know, he pees one time and he's good. He just needs to pee one time and he's good, man. Alright, we're going to try to do a liquid lock in here. And then we're going to have to pump out the Natagas. I wouldn't mind a gas filter system here, realistically. Uh, let's see. And then I do have plastic, so this is fine. Alright. If we do do the 1 million rad mark, we would have to do it on this planet. When we have the reactor up. <laughs> That'd be the play. Oh, this is in the way too. Because my rocket is on this side, right? That means I need a reactor on that side. Oh, I need to get rid of this. Maybe we have the joint plate up top then. Yeah, I'll probably have to mine some of the ice here. Okay, so we should have enough steam back at home. Uh, 240. Yep, 220. We're good. We're just going to let that top off. And then we'll send this one first. Uh, it will have the power, so I'm not too worried about it. The food is 30 kilograms, 79. Yeah, I'm not really too worried. It'll be fine. So, crew change. This is going to here. Splash. And we'll go. Alright, speed it up. Back up to here. Hey, Cyberdyne, what a gift up to Alt F4. Cyberdyne, man, I see you over there. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Thank you so much, Mr. Cyberdyne. Thank you for the gift subs. And of course, Alt F4, man. If you're out there, you know who to thank. But yo, man, welcome to the city. Hope you enjoy your stay. Appreciate it, Cyberdyne. I see you over there. So we have one more blueprint, actually. And we know that the blueprints work today. And that's great news. So I gotta ask people of chat. Did you guys get your blueprints today, man? Hopefully you guys have. It did start a little bit late, but it's there. It's there. New printables. I don't need a Draco. All right. Uh, we reject all. I think 39 is going to be the sweet spot number we're going to be at. And then uh, we need to find Nikola because I wanted to move him in. Nikola, where you at, buddy? There he is. Uh, Vitals, Nikola. We're going to move you in. And then on the pajamas, we're going to give it to you. Nikola. All right. Trapped. That can't be right. No one's actually trapped. I think they're just inside the rocket or something. All right, we'll let them do their thing. We're going to have to do a suit swap soon. All right. Nikola, your schedule, buddy. You're going to be sleeping with the rest of them. Let's go. Oh, you need a bed. Uh, let's give you this one. Nikola, there we go. Yeah, play about three hours and you get one. Seemed bugged today. I think it was late. I think the time was a little bit later, which is why. I just got it like within the last hour. So I'm thinking it was just a little bit delayed. I didn't read anything about that though. So I'm thinking it's probably just uh, daylight savings is the reason why. Last Sunday, there was like an hour change in Germany. Now, I know Clay is Canadian, so I don't know why that would matter. <laughs> but I'm thinking that might be it. That might be it. Why are these guys constantly idling here, man? They're not dreamers, dude. What are you guys doing? Y'all ain't dreamers, man. 
and then everyone should be locked down. It's only this because we need them to refill the kitchen. Be like that sometimes, I guess. Uh, I guess I also want to get rid of some of the gases. I want to do a canister emptier up top. Very meme strat, to be honest. We're just going to dump, uh, well, first off, this oxygen is going to get dumped. We're going to dump polluted oxygen. That's really random. I don't know why we have it in the map. And this guy's flying. Nice. Shouldn't take too long. Back to here. So we're adding water. Oh, we get the layer. Nice. So this is done. There we go. Let's cap that to get rid of the CO2. Morning. What does the dream thing do? The dream thing gives you a buff. So this thing requires dream journals. And you get journals by sleeping in the pajamas. Click on the pajama and you get one. And then... Uh, what that does is it gives you a galaxy-wide buff. So everyone in the galaxy, not just the planet, it's everyone in this game. So we get a buff called Maximum Aptitude. Minus 25% stress, plus five to athletics, strength, science, piloting, and machinery. And then this is good because my dupes on this side also get it. So they're on another planet and they also have the buffs. Though. So, realistically, I did that because I'm using it as a sign. Uh, what I mean when I say that is, is that I'm using it as a sign that my colony is being provided for. So, it's, it's a sign of flexing. If that makes sense. So, in one of my playthrough objectives, what we're trying to do is be able to be sufficient at our base because we can't use any of the geysers since we can't use any of the geysers this means that you know that's sealed up that's sealed up can't open these geysers can't open that one don't touch the oil wells and then what we have to do is get the resources from another planet so the teleporter planet is where we're getting the water from polluted water vents also getting some trace amounts of resources like salt water, salt, minerals, sand. And then we send back the stuff on automation. So in this case, this is water getting pumped out. We have a automatic system here to keep the coal gen uh, running with power. And then once we need more power, we send coal via the teleport. So that means we don't have to send anyone over anymore. On this planet, we tamed metal volcanoes. So this is our source of metal and it gets sent back home via the launcher. So our goal is to automate other planets so that we could tame the geysers and then take the resources, even though we're on another planet. So we launch them back with these payloads. So that's our goal objective for this themed playthrough. So it's a themed playthrough because we have that objective, right? Not just beating the game and going to the tear. That's what we're doing now. We got to automate some of the stuff. So sulfur for food, Hydrogen for power, and then iron, cobalt, and copper for metal. We grab water from here, but there's no launcher because we have a teleporter. But yeah, that's going to be our playthrough. And that's what we're doing. And then uh, that's why we have the dream thing. Because if we're able to provide food, oxygen, and everyone has everything built, so we have the Great Monument as well. This is basically like we're stable. We're able to overprovide oxygen and food for everyone. We have everything we need. And that is going to be kind of like the objective, if that makes sense. Yeah, triple volcano setup works. Yep, everything's working really well. We're happy with it. We're happy with it. And the last of the metal is about to send back at 20 degrees. And we'll launch it. Good stuff, good stuff. So we did a suit swap. We need to do construction here on the max priority. Oh, we're going to need power here. That's right. Uh, let's cut the line. And then we're going to grab a power wire. We'll use cobalt base ore. Made a mess? How? Oh, you're not allowed to use the toilets. Oh, shit. 
Oh, and you can't use any of these doors. So you can't go into your room. Oh, man. We had a problem, boys. Oh, that was my fault. That's 100% my fault, man. Someone moved the journal, man. I messed that up. Oh, man. Uh, I want to delete the pee water outside. So we're going to make a meme strat. We're just gonna dump pee water up top. Uh, this is polluted oxygen. I also wanna dump some other gases that I don't want held anymore. I'll probably dump chlorine. So it remains for the playthrough. We have to go to the ice planet, and then we have to turn this on, the temporal tear opener, and then we have to open up the tear, and then get the final cutscene. And that's gonna be how we wrap it up. I don't know if I'll finish today though. That's the only thing about that. I don't know if I finish today. On this side, well, no. Uh, that's going to be what we're going to do probably next time. Right now. Ooh, is that double gold? God damn. Maybe we do another triple tamer on this side. We only have gold, though. Nothing else. Oh, what's this? A triple gold. Triple gold with Natagas. <laughs> That's jank, yo. I did. I have it on YouTube. So the the winning playthrough that we got, collateral damage is on YouTube already. So if you guys don't know what collateral damage is talking about, we did the 100k challenge map, which is the minus 170 degrees Celsius temperature map. And then we tried to do super sustainable on it. And carnivore and locavore so we did all that in a hundred cycles so we did carnivore locavore and super sustainable which is the hardest one to do on the 100k map and we have that playthrough i think we finished with one cycle to spare it was literally on like 98 or 99 but yeah we did it that playthrough is on youtubes and no one watches it because <laughs> it's extremely meme in a sense that no one would ever even want to attempt that in real life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, no one in their right mind would want to do that. But we did it. I watched it. I love it. I appreciate the render. I'm, I think that was probably the hardest run we've done that I don't think anyone else would even think about attempting. Like, realistically, I can't imagine anyone else trying that and even getting close. Like, that's, like, realistically, a real test of knowledge. I won't go through the problems you run into, but yeah, a lot of the problems you run into in that, in that playthrough was really, like, you have to think. It really made you think. That's the one thing about that I was kind of happy about. I was like, wait, wait, oh my god, there's so many problems. Since it's base game, you needed water. And because the map is negative 170 Celsius, you couldn't get water. So it was like that in and of itself was the major problem you had to solve. And that was super fun. Ever do an evil run, yo man? I tried every time I did, Mamba would check me. He was like, why are you being evil? And then he slapped me with his paws. I'll be like that sometimes. Currently watching uh, the Magnet guy do max difficulty run. Oh, he has some ideas to make the game harder. The thing with max difficulty, though, like just the in-game sliders and difficulty, is that while it makes the game more difficult, it's not fun. It's very, how do I say this? The challenge is very tedious a lot of the times. And as a result, I'm not really a fan of those playthroughs. And I could understand why. Because when I would do a max difficulty run, there are a lot of times where I'm just kind of like, man, this sucks. And it's like, it's either I solve the problem but it would take me like more time to do like the next step. I 
I, I don't mind doing a new run and doing like new run ideas. I'm fine with that. So if you guys want, you guys could just tell me. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to check out his video. Because I do do all achievement runs and max difficulty runs. Those are already on YouTube as well. I've done Bator mod too, which is the modded playthrough. I just kind of need like new ideas for what to kind of add for the themed slash challenge run. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know and I'll uh, try to see what we could incorporate. Try to make it a little bit better for ourselves and have a nice play through times. But yeah, let me know, man. So like to give you guys an idea, playing on the 100k map and doing carnivore, locavore, and super sustainable, like that was an idea. At first, I thought that was absolutely insane, but it worked out. Alright, so this is disabled because there's no metal. Alright, so I have to make sure we don't get a metal shipment. Oh, it's coming. Uh, Alright, we're going to have to cut the line for now. Uh, The Baytor mod, yeah. The, what you spelled as uh, Balator, that's the new card game that came out. <laughs> Balatro. I actually have that as well. But yeah, Baytor mod. The B A A T O R. Uh, that's the max, the quote unquote max difficulty that they add a lot of like jank stuff and extreme temperatures, nine layers of hell, right? That's the Baytor mod. We have that on YouTube. I'm thinking about doing it again, to be honest. I've done Empty Worlds, but that wasn't difficult. That was kind of just kind of like space exploration. Like it wasn't hard to play Empty Worlds. It was just kind of like, you know, we got to experience it. Timo coming in with the lurks. We'll check you out, Timo. Latest. Take care of business, man. Whatever it is you need to do. I'll come out to lurk to provide you with this challenge. No gas or liquid pumps. You need to just move gases and smog with sponge slugs. No, dude. I'm just going to use doors. What the heck? I'm not going to use slugs. I'm just going to use doors. What the heck is that? <laughs> Dude, Dragon Man, I'm just going to use doors if that was me. If I had a chance. How? Oh, is this not actually connected? Oh, there's no power. Oh, not smart. There we go. There we go, there we go. But yeah, Dragon, do I specifically need to use slugs? Because <laughs> if it was uh, just no gas pumps, oh, that's tough. Because the problem with that is how do you feed an electrolyzer? How do you get water? Oh, you have to use slugs. Oh, dude. So I'm not going to lie, man. I absolutely hate slugs. I think I hate slugs more than puffs now, man. Honestly. Cedo Bomba, do you normally have this many viewers? No, it's usually more than this. <laughs> no, it depends. Right now, this is about average. If I start a new playthrough, it will be more. Because if I have, um, if I have a more relatable playthrough, it's uh, you get more viewers. But yeah, I'm a little bit too deep in my uh, playthrough for a lot of people to really like follow along. But if you guys have questions, I'll be happy to help you guys out. Slugs are pretty terrible. Yeah, dude, I'm not a fan of them. Just getting the smog slug is... I mean, not smog. Sponge slug is an absolute nightmare. Clean oxygen and no suits run. How would clean oxygen work? Would it just be like this? This is technically kind of clean. They, they breathe out CO2. Unless you mean, like, I gotta get a carbon skimmer on, like, every inch. <laughs> And all that, like, it really depends. I don't know what you mean though by uh, clean oxygen. All right, we're waiting for this guy to get there. All right, so we're waiting for the natty gas, right? Everything goes inside. Yeah, we're holding it, nice. So far, so good. We don't need this much. This is more than enough. We're just going to pump his... Oh, and the last blueprint of the day. Let's go. 
Oh, decent. Magma undershirt, frills. Okay. Seamless red undershirt with laser cut ruffles. I don't mind the ruffles, man. I'm a fan of the chips. Okay, so this is going to be okay. And where's the gas at? It's starting to become trace amounts. Yeah, it's less than full pump size. Does it heat up the shirts? Dude, it should keep your dupes warm. But it's short sleeve, dude. It's an undershirt. It probably keeps you warm. But yeah, it's short sleeve, man. I don't know. Too decent, damn man. I don't mind that, man. I like the clothing, too. Alright, we're gonna grab the natty gas and we're gonna leave. So I'm gonna bop that so that we don't have to have a chance of uh, overloading. I'm not going to do anything with this. They're not going to boil the water, right? This is way too cold for that to happen. I should take out the pups, though. I'm not going to lie. All right, this is good. We could bop this wire now, and then we could go out to here. Connect that, and then our rails could come out again. And then we'll continue the shipments. Okay, that means there's no overloading to occur. Everything should be fine. I feel bad for the rover, man. He can't do anything. He's just stuck there. Oh, it's b broken buildings, though. Hmm. He can struck all the ladders here. I'm down. Alright, so crew in. We're going home. We need to go save George. Alright, we're just deconning the ladders. And the reason for this is because I just don't want broken buildings in my notifications. Alright, we'll close this because I don't want to get uh, meteors coming down here. Okay, rovers fell down. He got the shocks, man. Got the maximum shock absorbers. Still bouncing. Oh, dude, is he gonna randomly get shot? Oh, that was so bad. I didn't consider that. He might just walk to the corner and take the hit, and we don't charge anymore. <laughs> no, don't do this to me. Just, just, just keep jumping over there, man. Don't, don't idle and pace around. Wally, man, it'd be like that sometimes. They should make Rad Bolts recharge the rovers. Realistically, I wouldn't mind that. Have it so that Rad Bolt hits a uh, rover charger that works with the Biobots as well. I wouldn't mind that, man. Make the rovers and Biobots able to use a charger. And then make it uh, powered off of Rad Bolts. Perfect. Wouldn't even be mad. But the thing with that is, is that... I feel like a lot of the mechanical critters, I guess you want to call them critters, because if you go into this tab, right, you get rovers and sweepies in it, and they're considered critters. The robotic critters that you make in this game have been more or less kind of ignored. Like, we got sweepy, and then he doesn't get anything else. We get rovers, it doesn't really get anything else. Now we have biobots. And just like the previous two, they don't really get anything else. All right, they're just a rover, effectively. So it's one of those things where it's like, maybe the new DLC is going to be focusing on that. <laughs> that's that's That may be too much. Maybe the new DLC is going to be talking about the uh, robots. And that's going to be the theme. The AI, dude. Dude, dude, theory craft? That would be pretty good. I wouldn't even be mad about that. If it was a themed robot, and then it's like... The cold planet makes sense because robots don't really need warmth. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the iRobot world. Because, right, that makes sense. If you're in a sub-zero planet, and it's that cold, you realistically either have, like, a, cold, a warm center... And you're just surrounded by the cold or the whole planet's cold and you're all robots and you don't need the warmth right that could be a thing as well man that could be a thing as well robots don't need to eat so you don't need to plant anything it's kind of a crackpot theory man but it, it kind of makes sense 
Ah, getting oxygen out. 9383, nice. That would make the game fully automatic too, if they could uh, do critter care. Yeah, and you know what they need to do? They need to make it so that the robots care about the critters, because the robots are critters, and then they introduce healing critters. One of the things in this game, man, that I really want, sometimes the pips walk in front of the rad bolt generator and they get shot. And then the pip has five HP. Sometimes you just want to save the little pip. Is that a bad thing to be able to bring the pip to a vet so he has full hit points? Yeah, man, we need that vet station. And then they make it so that the robots had the knowledge. And the reason why the dupes couldn't do it is because they lacked the knowledge. I might be theory crafting a little bit too much right now. <laughs> now I'm just like saying crazy shit. You know, man? <laughs> but it makes sense. Theoretically, logically, it does make a little bit of sense. I wouldn't really be too mad about it. Uh, this bad notes the doors, right? All right, man. Looks like we're going to take dude Zio. What does Dutsi will do? He's gonna become a dreamer. Maybe even have an invasion event. I don't know if they will ever add combat to this game. Because there technically isn't really combat. And how the dupes fight, it's kind of laggy glitchy. Sometimes the dupes will be like here. And he's shooting the guy down here, right? And it's weird. And it's like, eh, we don't know how that's really going to work, right? So I'm a little bit worried about that. And because of that, I also don't think they're going to have, you know, that added in. All right, let's get Dude Z in here. And then we're going to lock him in. And then we're going to have to add him into this list. And then he'll live right here. Dude Zio. Nice. And the crabs. I've gotten uh, hurt dupes from stone hatches. And the, the crabs. Yeah, I gotta watch out about the crabs, man. Those are aggro monsters. There's a reason why they're in jail. And we have a robotic guard instead of a human guard. The pokey shells will very easily attack the dupes. Mamba is very loudly snoring right now. You guys won't be able to hear it, but it is loud. I could very clearly hear Mamba snore. All right, we're going to start just deleting stuff we don't need. Petroleum, polluted water. The molten glass, molten cobalt, I don't think that's going to be a thing. That should be fine. This is uh, not anything. Okay, we're going to have to clear this up. Yeah, we could do that, and then we'll do that. My the cell we could reach, and then I would want to do that to reach that. Okay. Poor crabs don't even get to walk in salt water with some uh, salary plants. Hey man, these guys don't get it, man. They beat up too many of my dupes. Too many of them, man. Oh, and I never moved Dutzio to the right schedule. Uh, dude, Zio, where you at, man? There he is. Last schedule. So now six, eight, eight, eight. No one. Okay. I need to move one more guy. Because I have one free bed. All right. Viper Death Angel did not want to be it. So we're going to take Kiwi. Kiwi, I see you over there. Where you at? Come on. Dude, did I pass by Kiwi? Oh, right here. Oh, he has a snazzier suit. We're going to have to change that. Okay. Oh, and there is a... Uh, oh, yeah. We have to do something else. Here. Kiwi. Here. Uh, Dude Zio.
dude, they need a better way to kind of like have that menu. They didn't. They need to make it like it's the. Um, you guys ever play fighting games? <laughs> you guys ever play fighting games? You guys know how they have the large picture of the full character on both sides, first player, second player, and then in the middle, bottom half middle, not the full screen, just bottom half middle, is your small portraits of the individual characters. They need to change the menus to that, man. Because scrolling down this sucks. You know what I'm saying, man? Scrolling down this list sucks. For both that and on the rocket, changing the crew. Like, they need, a, they need to redo that, man. Like, we got this new nice AI. I mean, UI now. That revamp. I could actually just click on a res. And then do the fast swap. Ooh, that's tight. Oh, let's go back. Ooh, we keep the keep the gas inside too. That's really nice. We need something better for the uh, selecting of the dupes though, man. Not gonna lie. All right, Kiwi. Where you be? Right there. All right, you're on the sleeping schedule. Uh. Weed, are you on this line? No, you're not. Alright, so you get this, that, and then this is not banned access. Yeah, so you're gonna use the restroom because you can. Name for search bar could be nice, but like one of the things I kind of want is I want it so that the pilots are always at top. I also want it so that the duplicates that are selected are also at the top. Because one of the things I get debated by sometimes, I'll launch a rocket and then they don't launch. And I'm like, what's going on? And then everything checkbox is correct except for all crew boarded. And then when I check crew, someone is off the planet that's checkboxed. And that's the reason why this will never start. Like, I feel like that should never happen. Like, if the dupe isn't on the planet, it shouldn't be considered on the checkbox. <laughs> so, it's like, because of that, it gets annoying. It's like, I should be on the planet already. And it's like, oh, dude, I'm still just based. You know? Landlocked, man. But we could only speculate until they drop it. Yo, man, devs, if you're out there, man. We got some good ideas. We got some good ideas. Let us know. If you're looking for some ideas. Cause we got some uh, we got some ideas man we don't mind i will also want to clear all on the rocket yeah that'd be nice that'd be nice and the reasoning why the, the thing i just mentioned happens is because there isn't a clear all but yeah that would solve it actually clear all dude that would work pretty well all right so we have all 10 people here now uh none of those people are allowed out one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. So everyone is locked in. They'll always have grub for preserves. We got the oxygen for them. We have a skimmer at the bottom to delete the seal too. And I want to say this is doing great. That H2 though was kind of jank. All right. So we don't need. Ah, uh, yeah. They're delivering the dream journals here. We don't need this opened anymore. This is a locked room because now we get the dream journals automatically. Once this drops to 1440, I think it gets swept to one journal. There it is. And it goes back to 1500. Classic. Yeah, we got the easy sweep. Good stuff. Oh, we're back. Nice. Uh, so now we need to bring back the Natty Gas. All right, first thing we got to do is we got to get the gas res back at home. That's a smart move. We got to get the gas line to here. And then we got to get the gas line here. Okay, so now this is most likely the smart move. Because now I can do this. Oh, getting the gas to cross this is going to be a nightmare. Um, We'll go down like that. And we'll go down like that. We're going to borrow the pipelines until all the natty gas gets pulled out. And then we'll be okay. Alright, so we're going to have to build that. And from here, we need to cut 
this line and then that line and have it go out cut that line all right so we could hold it here i don't think it's that big of a deal we're just gonna wait for this to be built and then once that's done that's gonna go to here okay so what can we make oh dude i have like no food options holy shit <laughs> I never got any Pakus. Oh no, dude. I'm running out of space on an asteroid. I'm trying to build a space exposure zone, but my pneumatic door counts as space exposure. Feels bad, man. Oh yeah. You could put drywall behind it. <laughs> you can put drywall behind your door. I think that's what you need to do. Alright, we're gonna cut the power here. 185 is a little bit too hot. There we go. You can read that, right? This guy. It's like, I'm getting hit by the ads, though. <laughs> I, th I hope that helps. Because that's all he needs. Drywall behind the door. Alright, so food-wise, uh, we could do mixed berry pie. We have... No, we don't have to sleep with grain. Who keeps yelling? Oh, it's this guy. Um... We could get Paku. Oh, wait. He's seafood. Oh, shit. If we feed him uh, water, he becomes seafood. Oh, shit, fam. I forgot about that. That's going to take way too long, though, man. I'm going to be real. I don't want to wait for that. Uh, so do we have fish on this side? We get plant meat, insect meat, I guess. None of these guys ever evolved the sandy shells. And there's no fish here. Okay, so this is nothing. Do we have the evolution building? It's on another planet. <laughs> it's on another planet. It's on this planet, Freezeal. With the, uh, no, 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 no. It's on the metal planet. Right here. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so there's pa a Paku here, so we're coming back. Oh, the rover! All right, we're coming back. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So we don't need the rover, I hope. So this guy needs... Come on, man, how are you not going to tell me? 97. How long is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I need 120. Okay, we'll just pump this right now. All right, so that's here. Let's disconnect that line. That's not what we want. I guess we pull that back. All right, that's going to be fine. So we're going to go there. We're going to grab the Paku. Uh, the water should be fine. The fridge is going to be powered. Uh, let's get another fridge. That's probably might help. And then we need to bring the food home. So, this would be... I wish there was Sleetweed here. This would literally just be Paku. I don't know if that's going to be enough. That would give us just Surf and Turf, right? Nothing else? I got Paku. I just... I was like, yeah, I'm not going to eat it. <laughs> I'm not going to make storage for it. I just opted none. Oh, that was not a smart decision. Okay. So, we're going to grab Paku meat, seafood. So, we have meat and seafood and grub fruit. BBQ, fish, grub fruit. So, it's very likely we do the mixed berry pie. Gristle berry. Okay, we don't have that. I think I have the seeds, though. Growing that wouldn't be that bad. And then I would want to grab Sleetweed Grain. Ooh. 
we're actually going to get that right now. Well, we're not getting it. We're going to go in to try to set up the ranch. I mean, set up the design. And then we have a lot of sleet we grain. Yeah, there's none on this, right? I don't think we go here for it. Yeah, there's none here. This had sleet weed, but I don't think we're going to fly there. Because we could actually send it back. I just don't have anyone here to do so. How, how far is that? Oh, that's not bad. Do both of these? That might be the play. And then we just keep the guy on that planet. Uh, that means I would want to send this guy. Okay, so how much steam do we have on this? 36. Alright, let's grab the Paku meat, then we'll grab the... What? There we go. That just wasn't connected. We're gonna grab the Paku meat, and then this Lee Wee Grain. We do have the fridge. We'll just have to increase the amount of space we have there, and then add the grain inside. So this is at 150. We're good. Uh, let's have this here. And then we're gonna cut the line so it flows backwards. This is flying to here through launch. Just gotta go ASAP. This one should have went this one. You know what? I'm gonna change. I'm gonna go here instead. Yeah, change the line. Nice crew change. Who's in this crew? This is Viper Death Angel. So this is Ellie. By herself, huh? That should be fine. Viper Death Angel. So you're gonna be going to grab Sleet Wheat. Yeah, that shouldn't be too bad for you. You should be fine. Your brain goes as fast as light. Yo, man. That, I mean, I played the game for about 3,000 hours. It better. <laughs> it better process at max speed, man. Now we're gonna send that so we get George, and then we'll send this one to the other planet just in case we need a rover. Just in case. Alright, so he's going over there. We're gonna go grab the Sweet Wheat, grab the Paku. So, it's gonna be Sweet Wheat Grain. Oh, Pinch of Pepper Nuts might be it too. For this, we have grub fruit and then the gristle berry. All right, that's not too bad. Uh, we'll grow the gristle berry here. This is actually good temperature. And then let's grab farm tile. Let's grab a tile. It's a little bit lower than necessary. And then we're gonna put the ceiling light right here. Okay. Have that connect. Uh, make sure we have cold water available. I'll just pull it from the 6 degree tank. Oh, that's going to be too cold, isn't it? No. Let's pull it from this one. 11 degrees. 27 is a little too much. Oh, yeah. Be like that sometimes, but feels bad. Alright, we're going to want the blossom here. So we have water, it's gonna be okay. And then we have the light for that. And I guess we'll have to make a Paku Ranch because we're gonna bring a Paku back. Uh, let's see. We put it up here, wouldn't be bad. This also works because this is an odd area. I don't mind that at all, actually. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it then. Let's go these two. This one, we're gonna mine as much as we can out. We're gonna basically bop this here. No, we gotta keep that one. These two, that one. Yeah, it won't let me build drywall behind the door. It kind of bothers me, but I supposedly it won't leak into space, even though it says space exposure. Okay. So, I think there was a patch that made it so that all tiles and doors don't actually leak out. And that's actually something that annoyed people when they built airflow tiles. So this doesn't work anymore. But back in the day, you were able to build airflow tiles here. Right? And then if you drywall everything around it, 
the airflow tiles are still leaking out into the space exposure, so you would have your gas drain. That's not the case anymore. Right now, if you were to have it like this, this actually stops it. So all tiles now, and I believe doors too, have a background automatically. So even if it's in space exposure, it's not going to be space exposure. And instead it allows gases to flow from the bottom to the top. And this doesn't delete anything. So I think that's what it is. Dude, is it weird that I could hear Mamba snoring? Very loud snoring, man. I guess he's really tired. Yeah, I hope they fix confusing status to supply. Oh, it's a tooltip thing. Yeah, hopefully they do. Alright, so we do that. And then we gotta do this. And then who's riding this? This is non-stop naps and Susu. Alright, this this will just be no, we'll take both of them. I think the reasoning is because uh the skill, right? Oh, and I need the gases to come out. There we go. So now the natty gas comes out, and we get to store it. Deep sleep. Okay, okay. O2 doesn't seem to be leaking. Nice. Good to see. Good to see. But yeah, that stuff is uh, kind of confusing sometimes. Or, well, it can be, just because it's not very intuitive. Hey, it's my jam. What's going on, Lumbo? I see you over there. Welcome in, welcome in. Unreachable food. Oh, it's because it's grounded. Oh, that means you guys are on the planet. Nice. All right, let's stay inside. And then let's do a suit swap. All right. Esme Matixo Ravka. Let's deliver some suits. And then we can go outside. All right, so we want to do the shot. Here, 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 here. Okay, so it's this one. All right, we're gonna wanna do these two tiles. And we're likely gonna wanna bop as much as we can on that side. Right. Dude, floating on midair. Seems legit. Alright, so this tile. And then we know this is gonna be the reflector. Right? So I might want to remove the lead tile above it. Just so that we could hit it diagonally without worrying uh worrying about that. Let's also do this. So this shouldn't be that bad. I don't think this will flood this. Alright, so let's get a ladder here, here. Alright, so... 12, 12 is this tile. So that's a B. Right, 13, 13, that's perfect. That means I have a perfect diagonal. Right, so that's gonna be where one of my things wants to be. Uh, distance from the bottom, 13. That's solid. I could probably do a little bit more. But I think we will do... that design. Okay, so that means we're gonna run this in the middle. I don't have metal here. All right, we're just gonna mine the wolf mite. We're going to run that. Uh, we're going to need to go into here. And then we're going to want to build our ladder here. And then we know we bop this. Oh, sh wait, hold up. 
this to there. That means my reflector needs to be there. All right, that means this is there. And that means this is here. We'll add the ladder here just to help out. Oh, they're stuck. I see. Hey, is someone inside? How come you're not help? Oh, he's sleeping. Oh, what a slacker. I can't believe this guy. His crew is desperately trying to build something and he's sleeping inside on the rocket ship. What a travesty. Okay, now this guy's here. Uh, crew <laughs> inside. Ellie, let's get you a new suit. Oh, you gotta use the restroom. Viper Death Angel. All right, we're able to build this without the Wolframite. So we want four of these. And it's one, two, three, four. I could build most of this. Uh, adding the uranium is not a, oh, I forgot to bring the uranium. <laughs> Of all things I forget to bring. Oh, dude. How come you're not wearing a suit? This is supposed to be your suit. Oh, he glitched out. He slept through the assignment process. Yeah, man. Get your suit, buddy. He ignored the rules. That's illegal. All right. So effectively, we all shoot down. And then we got to do prime numbers so that we get the diagonal shot. And then that's going to require us to have water. Uh, it's simple, right? We'll just do it here. And then this is a simple ladder setup. Dude, did I not really bring any metal ore? I mean, we have Wolframite, so it shouldn't really be a big deal. This is the closest spot, but I think I should try to get to this. This might be good enough, though. Oh, I can't reach that unless I do... Oof. All right. Uh, we'll just grab this. Okay, grab that, grab this, and then that allows me to build reservoirs here. And this is easy pipe. And then we bring this down over. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. And then this allows me to get to here. And then it's like, eh, let's do it like that. Should be okay like this. So we need to hold water before we could actually move it in. And water is going to be our trigger. We're going to add uranium as much as we can. Probably like 50 kilograms. We won't need more than like 40. Realistically, 25. And then we should be able to shoot the shot. Um, We did bring lead because this is going to need power. And then we need to generate a power zone. Uh... Realistically, I think it's down here. We might just do it where the granite is. And then just build a ladder down this way. Alright, let's build the first ladder. Because I think once we mine the snow, they're not going to be able to come back up. Alright, let them rock. Flipina, this is out. You should be okay. Do your thing now. Half suit, that's fine. Alright, so... That's not on. This is on Sleet Wheat Grain. Okay. So we could go down to here. Oh, yeah. She could just grab it now. Yeah, low priority. Let's just pop this up. She's on downtime right now. She could do everything. You're not allowed to eat? Wait, 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 wait. Are you on a bad schedule? Viper, no, you seem okay. It just seems like you didn't want to eat anytime. Let's make sure they actually are allowed. Everyone selected. Yeah, what the heck? Oh, is this on crew still? No, it's on all. 
I'm so confused. How come you're idle? No pending deliveries? No sweep, no spice, sleewee grain? Oh, I know why. I forgot. One of these doors are locked. And then... I'm running out. There we go. Oh my god. I forgot I uh, locked the doors. <laughs> I freaking locked the doors, man. My bad, my bad. Now we're okay. Just gonna grab as many sleepy grain. How do you get the rocket engine above the space ferrer? You could only do it in blueprint form. I actually have an open rocket that I could actually show you. Uh, who's coming back? No one? Okay. So the trick is very simple. You pause the game. You have to pause. Click new rocket. Choose your engine. I'm gonna choose CL2. The engine type does not matter. Uh, you add normally, right? Whatever it is you want to build. I'm gonna put a rover module. It doesn't really matter what it is. This is how you just flip it. So now that you have this here, remember, paused blueprint form, click on the engine. Guess what? There's an arrow here. Click on the arrow and then unpause. All right, now this is ready. Pause, click on the rover and click plus. And then I'm gonna add a trailblazer and then I'm gonna add a gas cargo. Now I'm at the space for above that. All right, and then it moves the engine up. So then my base setup is space ferrer, battery, gas cargo. This is what I like to run. So this bottom half is up to you. I recommend having the space ferrer at the bottom. That's the most advantageous design. Uh, basically it's shortest travel distance. And when you are on a new planet for the first time and you build your platform on top of a surface like this, guess what? You could climb straight in and you don't need a ladder. You just hop up and then you get inside. So that means when you're actually building your platform for the first time, that's the safest route to go. If that makes sense. Another thing is since the engine's up here, once you eventually upgrade to the Radbolt engine, uh, you're going to have to charge this, right? With the Radbolts. That's the reasoning why we actually found out about this design. I got mad one day because my dupes would be trying to just go into a rocket mission and they kept getting shot. And then I was pissed. And then we found out that you could flip the engine. So I would consistently always line up my rocket engines at the same height level. And then it became a habit. Um, you know, you just play the game for a long time, right? Eventually it became a habit and this is the only way I do it now. So yeah, by having the space for at the bottom, you don't get shot anymore, right? That's the main advantage. Uh, second thing is because I'm actually close to my base. If your engine was at the bottom, the exhaust spawns here and it's going to shoot through the insulated tiles. So by moving the engine up, it's further away and my tiles never really get cooked. As you can see, we've been having this for a few hundred cycles and it's still kind of temperate. This is hot because this is at 200 degrees almost all the time. Because that's my steam fuel box. This is how we pump fuel. But yeah, that's how that works and why it's advantageous for us. So that way, we don't have to deal with the heat. Alright, so now we want to cut this line, cut that line. Cancel that. Do that. Very cool. For sure, for sure. Much appreciate. Yep, anytime. Let me know if you guys have any other questions. I got you guys. There's nothing in this game I don't know. And I could actually say that. I play this game way too much. <laughs> I play this game way too much. 100% of the time. Oh, damn. This filled up fast. Dude, you got 100 kilograms of sleet wheat grain immediately. And it's refrigerated. Okay. So you know what time that is? We're going home, fam. Dude, we got the grains fast, dude. All right. So we got the grains fast. Were we supposed to land here? Where's my rocket? Oh, it's here. Oh, I never launched it. Okay. So it's crew launch. We're going back. Yeah, we have... What is this? Igneous? No, we don't need that. Why? The... Oh, I was waiting for the natty gas to get pumped out. So we're actually fine now. 
Yeah, we should be okay. We should be okay. I'm at 5,800 hours, and I never knew that. Jesus Christ, you have more hours than I do. Rattlebone, man. This guy. I one day want to be like Rattlebone and have uh, 5,800 hours. I'm only at 3,600 and some. Oh, feels bad. How many solids can you make a lake from? Oh, dude, depends on the type of lake you have. If you have an ethanol lake, you actually get some good things. That's plenty. It is. It is. But man, dude, I need to stack up the hours and catch up. Because, <laughs> man, if we were to compare numbers, man, it sounds like I got rookie numbers. You know what I'm saying? It feels like I got them rookie numbers right now. I got to pump those numbers up. All right. So far, so good. This guy's coming back. I need to make... Uh... Surf and Turf. Mixed Berry Pie. And then I think we could do... Man. I guess we could do Pepper Bread. Oh, do we have Pinchas? Pinchas? No, we don't. They're probably all rotted right now. Oh, man. Uh... Does pinches make sense? We would have stuffed berries too. BBQ, we can make the frost bun, but then the... Can I grab lettuce? Made up with raw skill. <laughs> I see you over there. I might be able to grab lettuce from the side, because we do have them growing. So we got to find a bulb somewhere. That's still, like, actively growing. I don't know if we have any actively growing anymore. Uh, farm overlay. Atmosphere. No salt water. Oof. Oh, there's pinch of nuts here. Hey, These nuts? Oh, no. They're not growing anymore. Oh, dude. I needed those nuts. But then those nuts are not healthy nuts. God damn it. Yeah, none of those nuts are growing, dude. They're all dead. Dang. So there's water weed here, which is not enough. Like, none of it's actually growing. All right, so... Oh, right here. 29%. That's not bad. This one is almost fully grown. This one is not bad as well. All right, we're going to sense... Oh, right here. Oh, that looks mad healthy right there. That one's close. Oh, right here. Oh, is this fully grown? Dude, that looks fully grown. Oh, this one's growing. Oh, nice. 63%. We can come back for that one. All right, I'm going to grab... Man, all of them are, are dead, right? It's a body temperature thing. There's no way I actually heat that up. Pinch of nuts. Pinch of pepper nuts. Can always bring them home to grow. Yo, man, I don't want to grow them, though. We just want to save George. We got to entice him with the sweet nothings and the sweet food. I don't want to work for George, man. What's going on, Yupik? Welcome in. I see you over there. How are you? We doing all right, man. We're looking for some food to feed George. And right now we're thinking lettuce is going to be the name of the game. All right, I think we'll get the lettuce. Uh, so that means we won't get the pepper nuts. So that means we'll do frost burger. And that means we'll do frost bun one time. That also means we need the Paku filet. Alright, we're gonna fly fly. Okay. We will bring a Paku back home, though, to actually, uh, make a Paku tank. We'll, we will actually grow the Paku. Okay, so I want... A uh, glass tank for the Paku. It's the only way to do it. You gotta have the aquarium. How are you gonna get the bleach stone for the lettuce? No, 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 no. no. I'm not gonna be uh, growing the lettuce. We're looking for ones that are about to be harvestable. And then we're just gonna harvest it. So we're just gonna send a dupe over to bring some lettuce. Uh... I just need someone with high farming skill, right? 
Yeah, we just, we just one time, dude. One time. So farmers. Oh, L gamer with a 17 skill, dude. Look at this guy, man. He's a botanist, man. He really is. Biological sciences. L gamer, where you at? We gotta send you over to the other side. Wait, 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 wait. That might not be smart. Yeah, this is a dig skill because everything requires skill here. Everything's like granite. Without dig skill, I can't actually reach the water weed. That's bad. Oh, oh yeah, and then these guys. Um, they're chilling. They're getting things done. Interior. Let's make it so that's crew time. Esme swap. This is Ravco once he's back. Matixo's eating. Ravco, please. And then this is Matixo. Let's go. All right, they get the suits on. They go back outside of work. Nice. Not enough obsidian. Uh, that's fine. They could use something else. There we go. That should be cheaper. They'll be able to build all that. Nice. Jabani George with the good food. Yeah, man, we do it one time. Uh, so we need dig skill, right? So this is going to be... Can't be S... Oh, it's going to be Mean Hatter. Oh, shit. Messed up. Mean Hatter, where you at? Oh, we got to bop that. Sweep that. The Mean Hatter Meanderer. Meanderer. I'm not saying that because it's weird. He has double ERs. You all see that, man? Mean Hatter Meanderer. -er. What a name. All right. We're waiting to hit the teleport button. There we go. Okay. So where was the... Come on. There he is. All right. So there's... Damn, look at that food. Uh, farm button. Dying. These two are growing. We're going to enable auto harvest on that. And then that's growing. 64. This one right here is the one. Uh, let's mine this. We don't need to do that anymore. So that's the one that's about to grow. There is another one in here that's about to grow. This one is about full, if not full. Dude, I wish I could see the percentage, even though it's too wet. Because I think that's... I want to say that's good. Like, it's fully grown. I just don't know if it actually is. And then it's like, there's so much salt water. <laughs> I can't open it from this side. Alright, I'm hoping it just to mine that right now. Oh! Uh, I need to clear the list because he's just going to start sweeping. Uh, lattice. Let's go, let's go. Let's grab this one first. I want to see what that's at. There we go. And then we could mine that out so that the water could spill. So we know that it's two plants. Oh, it's three plants. Oh, okay. We're going to have to sacrifice that. Yeah, there's nothing we could be able to do about that. It's got to be sacrificed. Let's go with this one. Let's go, let's go. I want to see how much percentage this is. You got the skill, dude. You don't have the skill. Oh, you only have tier three. Oh, what a travesty. All right, we're going to give you this. You got it, buddy. You got the skill, though. There it is. There we go. We're going to have to uproot that. All right. 
how much water is too wet. 87. All right, that's going to take some time still. All right, we're going to go into here. Uh, 333, three, three, that works. The thing about the water drain is that it's going to be tough. So... All right, we'll go for it. And that allows me to do this. Okay. Then I think it's got to be this one. Yeah, this this one does work. All right, this is going to be our pattern. And we'll get to this right there. That's about to be harvestable. That should be good. Waiting for the rope uh, rocket to get back home. These people on this side, it's more or less set up. They resist a charge. Uh, okay, so then now we got to do ladders right here. After we do that, we got to dig. Try to get the ladders in if we can. And then we will come back to those guys. Uh, very unbreathable here. Yep, that's going to be a travesty of breathing. I was thinking about maybe potentially going up and over, but I didn't want a chance of salt water spilling here. Actually, it shouldn't matter, right? It actually shouldn't. Oh, sh yeah, it shouldn't matter. Because we're pumping out this water with this water, and we have a filter on the other side. And then I could breathe a lot better this way. So it's a matter of getting a ladder here. Okay, and then we could just dig all the way in. All right, we'll let them work on that. We're not trapped, right? Yeah, we're actually okay. Yeah, we just need to keep digging. We're gonna create space for the coal gens and then the auto sweeper so that we'll be able to power this. And then we'll have to move water on the way back. Good news is, is that this is going to take that much longer. It's not too bad at all. So all we need is nine tile space for the sweeper to be able to reach everything. And then we're going to do two layer setup. Ooh. So I do need four gens, right? Because that's 2,400 and this is 2,000. And then I need to power the sweeper and stuff anyways. Alright, we should probably do that. And then back to here. Sleeping, doing the thing. We could probably come back. We have a little bit of the bare bones set up though. And then the sleep wheat grain should be... Oh, it's home. Wait, did we never launch? Wait, what? The grains are home. The grains are home? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, we didn't move this out? Oh, this is going to rot, dude. We need to move that, dude. <laughs> we need to move that out. Uh, we can't spice that, though. And everything here is at once. Oh, that's, that's cold enough, actually. I could actually do that here, then. Uh... Alright, we need to bop one of these. So, we gotta do that and do sleep wheat here. Because the sleep wheat's never actually gonna rot if we have that. And then the preserve just needs to get moved into another fridge. Which is probably gonna be uh, over here. We have a full fridge, or empty fridge, waiting for us. Alright, that should mean we should be okay. We'll come back here then. Well, let's crew, go back home. Oh, I need to do the uh, refuel as well. So, we need to grab power, wire, and then that steam. There we go. And then the outside should be automatic. Oh, I had spiced food only in the bin. No, this is fine. This is fine. Oh, it's grub fruit and meat. Oh no, this one is. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Thank you, thank you. Collateral damage. I see you over there. 
at the wrong fridge. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see you, I see you. All right, so we should have some preemptive fill-ins so that we can actually get the cooking once this is actually ready. And then, oh, rockets are in orbit, so I need to open that. Nice. We could land with that back. Do we have any Paku eggs inside here? That's actually going to be the strat. We need to bring back Paku eggs. Oh, there's one right here. 65. I guess we could put it inside of a bin. Ooh, that's the play then that I'm looking for. Uh, what's the rocket here? It is... Come on. Give me my rocket. It's a Spudnik, right? Alright. So this is going to be egg. Paku gulpfish tropical egg on a max priority not grounded so this is fine we got to do a suit swap susumu non-stop naps all right they should be good and then if i click on this no it's low priority no pending okay so now we got to look for eggs so if we have the paku egg inside of a bin it's not gonna gain any uh incubation rate so it would stay an egg for the entire ride back and we just need one it looks like we're grabbing that right there i don't think there's any in here i feel like if there was eggs available to us we would know and there's not uh not an egg there there could be an egg inside the meteors because there used to be a Paku here. I just don't think it will be. Yeah, it looks like this is the only egg we have. That's that's very likely the only egg at the moment. Tropical. Oh, this guy just hatched. Yep. Okay, so it's this one. Uh, let's move this egg inside. Well, no. Cancel move. Move, click inside the Sputnik. Move that here. Max priority. Can't pick it up. So what we have to do is... Everyone's available. Let's click on non-stop navs. Show nav. Click outside. Oh, it doesn't show you nav outside. Okay. Go outside then, I guess. Uh, they can reach this. Alright, that's what we're going to need to do. And then click on Susumu. Yeah, navigation does reach everywhere. Mamba's awakened. I see you, babies. No more deep snap, uh, deep snoring. Look at that stretch. All right, grab the egg, boys. It's time. Oh, it's still not reachable. There we go. Grab the egg. Let's go. And then we're gonna grab the egg and put it inside a box. Nice. Good stuff. All right, puts it in, puts it in the bin. Crew, it's time to go home. Four out of six. All right, good stuff, good stuff. So these guys, wait, oxygen? Oh, this is filled already. I was like, dude, no, dude. That's supposed to be steam, dude. We're going to be stranded or something. All right, so we can make it nice. <laughs> I was like, why? This is supposed to be steam, dude. What are we doing? There we go. I thought we were going to have a bad time. All right. As you can see, steam spawns around the engine. So that means we don't melt any of the ice on here. Not even accidentally. So it's great, great. Uh, back to here. We have the eggs. All right. So we need the fish tank. Uh, what's the top in temperature of goldfish? 25. Oh, shit. This is 25. Uh, I need this to be cold. Holy crap. Yeah, the only way to really do it is this way then. Let's run some cobalt here. Uh, 
that comes in, that comes out. And we're just going to add it into the line so that we could just maintain temperature here. This is at 20 degrees, that's fine. And then I do need to get uh, more brine on the line, so we're going to have to add this in. Power line's already there. There's enough brine there for us to do the rest of that. So we'll just do that. We'll also want to probably move the cold water from here. That's probably the smart plan. Oh, there's cold water here. 12 degrees. I'll just move all five. This is probably better. Alright, so that's not on. Five tons of seven degree water. That's going to be perfect for the goldfish tank. Alright, so we're just going to grow the fish. I don't think it's really going to matter too much. Yeah, once we come back with it, it should be something we'll check. But it should be alright. Alright, so back on this side, we didn't make any of the dishes, right? Gristleberry. Okay. So is there grub fruit here? There is. Nice. So we have the berry. And then we do gristleberry. I need to make sure we ban that from being eaten. So gristleberry. Oh, that's that's the cooked version, uncooked one. Wait, how? Oh, I've never cooked it. Oh, dude, not like this. <laughs> I've never cooked it. So, yeah. Okay. That means I might have to sacrifice one. Because by the time this is made, I don't know whether or not we got the gristleberry yet. Oh, no, bro. This is filled with BBQ that's uh, effectively not rotting anymore. Aw, snap. So we have to look for Bristleberry inside the contents here, because this is the only one making that. When's this going to harvest? Oh, not bad. Uh, 75%, so two cycles. Not bad at all. I wanted the Wheeze Ward up here for a little bit of cold energy. All right, this is getting a little bit warm. Also need to mop this up. Still moving the water. It's not bad, that's most of it. Back it up now, nice. Can't be mad. And then on this side, oh dude, it's ready. Where are you at? And we're, uh, Pumping up the waters, nice. So more salt water spills out, that's fine. Dude, give me my lettuce wraps. Go, go, go. Bring it home, bring it home. Aw, oh, dude, bring it home. This is pollutant exposure, man. Get that out of, dude, that's 12 kilograms? Damn, dude, that's a lot of food. That's decent, man. All right, so you can't eat lettuce. Don't eat the lettuce, man. Yo, where's the lettuce? How come the lettuce isn't on the list? There it is. Alright, so that's back. They should be moving that to here. Right, that's the only thing we have with lettuce. We could try to do mushroom wrap. Oh, we could do the Frost Burger. Oh, snap. Oh, did they eat the buns? I think they did. Oh, the buns are in. Okay, so we don't need this. Now nah, we can loudly eat the buns, I guess. All right, we need to make sure no one eats this. All right, so Frost Burger, we're going to move it. Because if you're moving it, no one could grab it to eat it. Second thing we're going to do is unselect it from the consumables. 
Nice. And then we want to spice it up. Frost burger. Where you at, buddy? There it is. All right. And after that's done, we're going to put it in here. All right. That should work out. One down. We can make more now, too, which I wouldn't mind. Dude, yeah, we can make more, dude. We have the lots. This is nice. Do we make 20 burgers? Let's make 10 burgers, dude. I'm down. Let's make 10 of these. Let's make some burgers, man. All right, surf and turf requires a fish, and then this requires a gristleberry. The grub food's already in. It says here, 0k count. But we have the grub fruit right here. 4,000 of it. So this is more than enough. We just need the berries. Nice, nice, nice. Speed this up. We are at 85%. Is there a rail line connected to anything? Nothing. Oh, there's just no power to use the coal. <laughs> of course. Now right, we just leave that alone. New printables. Take the reed seeds. All right, so we have a dupe on the side, right? I haven't made one of these, so I probably will make one for the uh, wind condition mini pod. And then we need to start building these mini pods on other planets. Uh, so that's one, two, three, and then I need two more. Okay, we'll have to launch something somewhere. Make some mini pods. I would also want to send home the useless machine. Oh, you can't send that? Oh, dude. Artifact? No. I have to send a rocket for this? Aw, oh, man. Not a fan, dude. Not a fan. All right, we're going to have to send home uranium. That's the next thing. So the bees are asleep. Lucky me. Let's put this on a zero, zero. Uh, inspect. Activate. Once you're ready, this is going to be uranium. Oh, it's not actually selected yet. So for this errand, this is ranching. Can you do ranching? All right, we're gonna give it to you. Ooh, stressed out dupes. Okay, the pressure is not actually that great. Okay. So we will want a couple things. I would want to build a bin right here. And then wait for this guy to be idle. Change setting, that's fine. Nice. Now using mini pawn to get the skill. And then socializing. Oh, you're on downtime. Mean Hatter, yeah, classic. And then it's gonna go to sleep. Nice. Okay, so the bees are asleep. The bees are asleep. <laughs> so we could go in and just grab some rich uranium right now. All right, this guy woke up. I don't know why you're hungry, man. You just ate. Are you now idle? Picking up dirt, storing dirt. Picking up dirt, storing the dirt. Are you now idle? Now you are. Okay, nice. All right, we're going to move you down here. We're going to open the door. It's not pressurized enough to overwhelm it, I don't think. So we need to build the bin. All right, now the nearby materials is igneous rock. We're going to use that as material of choice. Uh, we could dig through this. Oh, I can't. Alright, let's dig through that. And then I want to go here. One, two, three. Here. 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 Alright, we got it. So you would have to drain the CO2 if you want if you wanted the bees to start working again? Yes. Um, you would either drain the CO2 or liquefy it. 
the liquid CO2 does not hurt the bees. They just see it as water. Only when it's in gas form do they actually fall asleep like that. So yes, that is correct. You could either... You have to remove it in some way or form. So it's either by liquefying it or pumping it out. You could also just fill it with a different gas. Like if there was space below for the CO2 to get pushed down into. You could add like chlorine here. And then that would allow the bees to start working again. There's a lot more in this room, but it's spreading out as long as uh, there's no problems for uh, the dupe. All right, we need this ladder for the auto harvest. I should have just went this way. That's <laughs> so much faster. And then I need to start scooping this so that I could select enriched uranium right here. And then we could send it back home. And then we could power the reactor, which we'll have to build next time, most likely. Oh, he's awake! No, don't just pass out. Just pass out. Oh, he delivered once and fell asleep. Let's go. No, no, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Aw, oh, snap. Don't hit me, bro. We're homies. Oh, dude. Did he, did he just did he just smack me? No, man. Leave me alone. Oh, he's asleep. Nice, 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 nice. Consuming the bubble. Auto save lag, man. That's heavy lag. There we go. Oh, I don't need this, right? Not permitted. Okay. I was wondering why you couldn't do the job. And ranching. Number one, number two, first thing is to breathe. That's classic. Nice, nice. So you know what happens when you guys do this? You bring out the gelato scoop. And you scoop out some green gelato. Ah, look at that. Mmm. Fresh ice cream. Nice. Nice. All right. So enriched. Bring that outside. Oh, there's a small problem with that, huh? All right, we'll want a tile here. We'll make this a lower priority. What are you doing? Oh, they're building first. That's correct. All right, so the reason why I wanted that is because if I drop the enriched, I want a tile there to catch it. And then now we can move it. Very lacking of the O2 zone. Oh, it's downtime. Alright, at least this is erupting. Keeping the bees asleep. Still coming home. Oh, we have the fish. Oh, dude, is the fish egg still alive? Gulp fry egg. Seventy one. Perfect. So now we want to move this to here. We want to empty out the water. And that's cold water. And then we want to do the piping like this. Cut that line. And then the bridge is on. So we just need to power this. Nice. Hit empty. Let's go. Oh, look at that water. Nice and cold. All right, now we're running radiant pipe on this as well. And then we're also adding uh, water this way. There we go. I'm probably going to use up all the water. And there's a couple of half bubbles inside. And that's all of it? Perfect. Not even mad about that. Let's get rid of that and let's unplug this. Alright, so now the goldfish is gonna be able to do its thing. Uh let's see. 
So we want this guy to breed. How big is this room? And this is not enough water. And that's going to be another thing. We need to add water inside. Uh, I guess we could dump water here. Again. So that we could take the other water. Uh, chill it. And then move it into here. I think that makes sense. I would want to use this if I can. And then... Is there water anywhere else? It's really just coming from the steam, right? I guess this water could be something. We could allow this to drip again. I don't mind that. And then we'll be able to pump it up anyways. Alright, we have some time before that's going to be uh, a thing again. Alright, so that's going to be Paku. Mixed berry pie, there it is. No one's eating it, let's go. Alright, we're going to move it. Mixed berry pie. We need to make that uh, spiced. And then we got to move that here. Pick it up, pick it up. And then I need to not allow people to eat that. There we go. This is spiced. This is spiced food only. No, it's not. Oh. Oh, is that a problem? Uh, let's uncheck that. Let's copy paste. But this is spiced only. And this is not spiced. Oh. It's going to be like that. And then these items aren't spiced. Wait, no, they are? Spiced food only. This is not spiced. Wait, hold up. That's not correct. Dude, I'm so confused. None of these are spiced. The burger might be here, though. Yeah, this one is seasoned. Dude, what is that? Yeah, these are not spiced. Okay. I don't know why they got moved in. That's actually kind of weird. All right, I want to get that spice though ASAP. Mixed berry pie is indeed in. Grove preserves as well. All right, so the only thing we're missing is uh, surf and turf. And we'll be able to get George everything he wanted. Oh, one last one. Let's go. Someone get the berry pie up, please. Whoever is needing to do the spice grinder is, is slacking off. Why does Geek try and then give up? He just pops up and then he disappears. But I need to do the berry, dude. What are we doing? All right, we're going to uncheck some stuff here. Like, what are we doing? Grab the mixed berry pie. There we go. Grab the frost burger. We need to do the seasonings on it. Yeah, grab the frost burger, man. We need to get the spice. I might be running out of mule with seeds. Eh, I still have 180. I guess that's not bad. We could grow mule wood just for the seeds. I wouldn't actually mind that at all. And we could make El Gamer be the only one that tends to it. Because he has the highest skill. Alright. So we're seasoning the burgers one at a time, dude. 6k per burger. Dude, this is slow. And I can't do the grub fruits while this is happening. I want to spice all the burgers, so we got to do this first. All right, this guy's coming back still. This is going to be mad cold. We're moving in the water. Oh, the AQ's not on. Ah, uh, that's because it's hot. Uh, we'll do that. And then we'll allow the water to drain as well. There we go. 
because we're going to add cold energy and the hot energy at the same time. It's going to be more cold energy added in them. Plus 14 or like, you know, minus 80. <laughs> it's a big difference. Once it gets down to like 160, I think it's going to be better. But yeah, we're going to be trying to chill the water so we have cold water. There's just so much water to be pumping though. Should be good. Just allow that to just all become chilled then. And this is unperishable food. Yeah, muck root, nutrient bars. None of that's ever gonna rot. How much is this now? 36? Dude, that's slow, man. I might need a second spice grinder. Luckily, the spice grinder doesn't actually need power, so that's not too bad. We'll, we will get a second one. It seems like we're not spicing up all the food. So we're getting some of the food uh, perishing, I think. Being like that, though, sometimes. And copy settings. Let's go. Oh, yeah, this one's going to be a little bit different, though, because we're going to add BBQ and the grub fruit. There we go. We'll use up more salt, use up more mealwood seeds, but I think it's going to be more consistent, so that's going to help us out a lot. So this one, we're just going to copy from here. Gotta wait for that. Not bad, not bad though. So, part of me thinks we could just take out the Paku and immediately get the, the filet. <laughs> part of me wants the ranch Paku. I don't actually know what we should do. We could literally just murder him in cold blood and then just take it. You guys know what I'm saying? I, but that, you know, that's not right, man. Paku did nothing wrong. But that's technically all we would need. Just the surf and turf. And that would be the last thing. <laughs> Do we get enough with one, one, uh, one fish? 16? And then... Yeah, you get 16. Okay. I mean, we might randomly get Paku from this, because we have. I just never actually wanted to hold the Paku. Oh, speak of the devil. Oh, we didn't get it. Okay, got the pip. Okay, let's get some pips inside the Somnium area. Let's get this pip inside one of the bedrooms. I mean, I guess we could always go back and get another fish. Ooh, I'm sorry, man. We won't eat you, I promise. George will. Not us, though. Yo, man, where's the raw fish? Oh, there it is. Okay, nice. We've never cooked fish. Okay. We gotta watch this. Paku filet. Cooked seafood. I've been setting my, my pips through the machine to get cuddle pips. Oh, man. Have you had anyone died via hugging yet? That's always a classic. Dying via hugging. Hey, Cthulhu, coming in. What's the 39 months? Jesus Christ, a long time. Thank you so much for the support of 39 months, Mr. Cthulhu. You did it with 13 cycles to spare. There we go. That's what we want to hear, man. Good stuff, good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. Finally got it. Was that the last achievement you were waiting for? I gotta ask, man. <laughs> Was that the last one?
Are you missing any achievements now, man? You're gonna tell me you don't have GMO AOK -okay or something. And you didn't ruin Locavore or Super Sustainable. Dang, nice. Only way to do it. I got the Surf and Turf boys. I'm not even sure if I've done Mind the Gap because it's tedious. Oof. That can't happen. Uh, spiced food only, Surf and Turf. We're going to move that. And then I need to not allow anyone to eat this. All right, all right. Move it. And then let's spice it. I need to watch this. I don't want anyone eating the Surf and Turf, man. There it is. So you might be missing Mind the Gap. Oh man, that's not too bad. That is the most tedious achievement that we have at the moment. We'll have to say it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. I did. I got all three. I got some clothing. I got a red shirt. I also got tank top. And then I got... I don't remember what my third item was. I did get a third item though. But it was a tank top, a frilled sh undershirt, and something else. I forgot. They were all clothing though. I think the second item I got was a common item that we already had. It was a watermelon glovelets, I think. And then the tank top and the undershirt, both decent. It's not bad, man. Yeah, it seemed later than usual. I think it had to do with the time zones. I think there was something to do with a uh, well, time zone going, like, catching up. Basically, uh, we did it like a month ago, and they do it a month later. And I guess when that happens, it pushed everything back an hour? I don't know. Or forward an hour? So we just, you know, we're closer to the deadline time. Who knows? Alright, so do we have all the food now? Surf and Turf, Frost Burger, Mixed Berry Pie. This is seasoned. And it is gaining freshness. Perfect. Surf and Turf at 100. Frost Burger at 69%. That's not good. But it's it's growing though because it has uh, the freshness. Okay. All right, we can save George. We can try to save George. Oh man, do we do that now? I guess I could do that next time. Because George is on this planet. And all we need to do is deliver food. And then I think he's going to be happy. And then George will be dupe number 40. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so let's make sure we have enough beds. Uh, I did have to redo this room. I forgot about that. So, 4, 8, 16. 24, 29, 39. We have one more bedroom to make. Because George is missing a bedroom. Alright, we're going to give George a super baller bedroom. Oh, that's a little bit warm, though, that area. Um, Where can we give George's room? We could give this to George. That kind of sucks, though. Alright, so... Let's continue the pattern. So that's... Uh, orange red and then i guess we could go yellow okay we did some patterns here for the designs we don't have wedges though for the yellow okay so it's just gonna be uh, diamond designs do we react to this one we will we will um that's gonna be next stream we're gonna basically bop the tear Gotta breach the tear, right? So we're gonna be doing that uh, next stream. And I think we'll save George next stream as well. Not sure though. 
usual temperature uh, temp cheese reactor. Hey man, it might be a little cheesy, but I'm a fan. I'm a fan. So with that, we should be only short one bedroom. And that would be George's bedroom that we'll be getting right now. So I probably wouldn't want it here. This is the monument. Bedrooms here, bedrooms here. If anything, I guess it could be here. But I don't want people going into the triage cot room. I mean, George's room. Pretty proud of my last latest reactor design. Not sure if I could improve on it. I see you over there. I'm not a fan of the lead suits, but that does work. Not gonna lie. I I do know one thing that could be done that's actually kind of nice with the uh, reactor. I just gotta make a video for it. <laughs> There's a very specific strat that you could technically do. So I could mine this. We'll do that right now. This is a hallway. All the ladders line up here. Dude. I guess we could put this as George's room, but I think that's kind of awkward. Realistically. But it would work. It would work. I guess I wouldn't be too mad. I like using the lead suits for only that purpose. No man. That, that's what they're made to do though. So yo man. Intended use? Can't be mad. Intended use man. Can't be mad. We could move the kill box. Or the evolution chamber to put a bedroom here. It's not too hard to set up a sweeping design. But I like using the manual loading. Dude I don't trust the dupes man. Have you ever had anyone in a lead suit idle next to the reactor? Like, that's the thing I think it's going to happen. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, I don't want that to happen, but it's like you fear that it will. Okay, so that technically does work. All right. We are going to do George's room right here. And this is going to be minimum size. We'll do that there. We'll get that there. And we'll get that there. Uh, I think that's enough, right? Oh, we need drywall. That's right. Let's see. He will get... Hmm. Two dice. We will get... Stripes on the bottom two layers. And then clean white on the up, up half. No, they always get out quick. Even with lead suits, it briefly gives them a rat alert. Oh, wow. And that's normal difficulty. Dude, that's tough. That's tough, man. Normal difficulty, you get that. Oh, yeah, this isn't a thing anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm supposed to actually get rid of this. Uh, this goes down into here. And then this is gone. And we remove the res. Yeah, that res is no longer needed. Okay. This is just to hold some water. So we're just going to get rid of this. This is fine. Not really too worried about that. Looks like this works pretty well. With the cold energy water, it's handling it still. It does require the AQ though, but it still seems like it's handling it, no problem. And we, oh, this is actually working again. Oh, we got some pea dirt. I wonder if this is from food rotting. That could be my source, to be honest right now. Rotting food problems. Okay, so I do need to do some mini pods. I'm gonna do some rocket missions real fast. 
we'll have to just stop by some of the other areas to set up a mini pod, and then, uh, you know, easy time. Alright, let's move that. Thin amount of water, 194, it's fine. Yeah, we'll be okay with that. So, it's getting kind of hot, eh? Mr. Panhandle coming in with the 56 months. Jesus Christ, that's a long time, man. How are you, Mr. TX? Howdy, friend. It's been a too long. How are you, dude? Thank you so much for the long time support. But how have you been? How's the East Coast? I know that uh, there is some storm warnings about something happening in the Northeast. I know you're not close to that, but yo, man, I don't know if you're getting affected. But how are you, Mr. TX? How have you been? What you been up to? I would imagine TX was on his... Uh, quarterly trip to uh, Texas to get some uh, Texas beef as they like to say that's probably what happened right you have to go home you know restock on the supplies all right we're gonna go to flip Illa to get the mini pod there so this is one two three four five six six times 15 90 kilograms we're getting close Working, a lot of working, sadly. I do have a Texas trip planned, though, in about a month. <laughs> Yo, man, I didn't forget, man. You told me that you, you have a somewhat regular trip to either visit people, but really is to get that Texas beef. Yo, man, it'd be like that sometimes. Can't get Texas beef outside of Texas. All about the beef. But yo, man, working hard, working long. Make sure you're taking your uh, taking care of yourself, though, Mr. TX. Burnout is real, dude. You gotta watch out for that. Is this Viper Death Angel? We just needed a one-man group. It is. All right. So she's gonna be fine. Oh, I feel you with that. Yeah, you got the bills. More importantly, just make sure you take care of yourself, man. Rest when you can. Don't let the other people stretch you thin. Because, like, I realize that, man. The older you get, the more often people are going to want to just take advantage of you. Oh, you're not doing anything? Help me out with this. But, but it's your day off. And you could realistically never really uh, talk with these people. Because all they're going to want to do is assume that you could just help them out. And they're not going to take no for an answer. So don't let other people stretch you thin. Take care of yourself, man. Rest when you need to. If someone asks you what you're doing, say, I'm busy. Don't talk to me no more. I'm on the moon, bitch. Peace. Got to do the uh, the line from that one rapper. And then they'll understand. Like, dude, I got on this guy's wrong side, man. Holy shit. Okay, so we have everything here, right? Yeah, so we're good. Let's go. Do you have a license for that moon, sir? Hey, man. It's our moon? What do you mean? We don't need a license when it's ours, right? <laughs> we share it, dude. Come on, Zoo Hybrid. I see you over there. How are you? Uh, how are you? Hello, hello. Oh, all the water got dumped, so we'd have no more gristle berries. Do we even need those anymore? Technically not, right? So we don't really need that. I could probably uproot that. All right, after we feed George, we'll be fine. So right now, we're just going to do some mini pods. I guess we should set up the thing to pick up George. We'll go with this rocket. Because we have extra suits here. Let's bring the fridge. Uh, let's do a false launch just to charge. And then... Uh, this is not plugged. We guess we have to power two suits. It's kind of a problem. I'll be fine. We'll just uh, build this right now and try to get it ready. My favorite thing right now is a buddy who thinks because I have a desktop that it isn't tiring. <laughs> oh man, I hear that all the time. Dude, you know what's funny? Hey man, it's just two hours. <laughs> you can take two hours out of your day. Just two hours, man. Oh, yeah, it's just 30 minutes. 
and it always ends up being double the amount of time. Yeah, but I Google Maps it, man. It said the trip was only going to take 30 minutes. Like, like, they got every excuse in the book. And they're never going to actually take accountability. Never. From none of the previous times, and they're going to just happen to forget it and then just believe everything is good, everything's sweet, everything is all good. And when you bring it up, they're like, I thought you were cool. And because I didn't know, you can't blame me. Is another popular one. Oh, yeah, but I didn't know. So that, that you can't blame me for that. I didn't know, man. It's your fault for not telling me. <laughs> Whoa, what is this? Uh, yo, is this, is this a glitch? Dude, what is this? This is not drywall. It doesn't even line up properly. Hey, we got a visual glitch, boys. Dude, what is that? I'm gonna try to build a drywall next to it. Hey, what is this? For reals? It's a background without a background. Dude, seriously, this is this is jank. Uh, oh, you see that, and it overlaps it. What happens if a dupe stands on this? All right. Uh, let's get abductor. Huh. That's so weird. What's this background tile? I actually don't know what that is, but that's really jank. Let's just get rid of the stuff. Oh, it's a visual bug. Look at this. The suit is uh, elongated. Yeah, I think if I reload, it's going to fix it. We don't need to do it, though. I think if we save reload, we're just going to wrap up. So it's fine. We won't do that yet. Nothing really is breaking, so it should be okay. All right, so we were getting ready this rocket, and then we're going to want to charge the battery real fast. We do have steam. Oh, it's filled. Oh, wow. Um, let's just go for a quick movement. Let's only have the pilot, though. We don't need anyone else. All right, so we're going to do this to charge the battery module. The engine generates power, as you can see right here, plus 600. And then we're going to store that power so that we could have energy inside for the refrigerators. Uh, we will not be dumping oxygen into the suit. That's going to drain more power, so we don't want that. All right. Come on, let's get some power. All right, so we're missing... So we have one, two, three, four. Yeah, because we're going to get George. And then number five. Okay, so we need to get five mini pods. So we have two at the moment, this one and then this one, right? Because you have to activate it. So right now we're going to go to Flipilla to set up another pod there. This guy's going to move this way. And then we're going to fly to here to pick up George later. And then we're going to get the third, fourth. And then once we breach the terror, it's going to be number five. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So that's going to be all five. That should work out. All right. How much longer for this guy? 60 seconds. That's fast. All right. Once we build the mini pod, we'll ground this guy. Because by that time, we should have enough power. And then we'll do another refill. Um, There is no steam. I guess I could flip that backwards. And have it go into here. Because this has 31, 22. Okay. I will actually want to top off all the uh, rocket exhausts if we can. So both connected, that's great. And then I think we needed to do another double jump, right? So that means I'm going to need steam coming in this way. All right, we will cut the line though. So it's one, two, three. Yeah, 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 yeah. That should be all right.
get the payloads. Oh, we're there. Let's go. Uh, smile and cheesin'. Let's get the mini pod on the side. What are we doing? Storing materials. Okay, so it's a door issue again. Let's reset the AI. Alright, now they're picking up items from here to do the job. Nice. Auto save line. Let's go. There we go. Alright, inspect, get the data bank, and then activate. This guy should be good. Cargo. Power. They don't have power here. Come on, man. What a travesty. Alright, let's go home. We should have enough uh, with that. Okay, that means... Where is it? Three out of five. Nice. So, crew change. Go home. Alright, half power. It's not bad. So when we drive to go save George, that's going to be uh, filled up on the way. You should have auto save lag tech. I could. I just don't want to turn it on. I don't think it's necessary yet. Auto save lag merch. <laughs> have a picture of Mamba that's like double the image because it's lagging. Looks like he's teleporting. See, you can't have a GIF on a t-shirt, though. I feel like that's going to be the future. The moment someone discovers how to put GIFs on t-shirts... Dude, you're going to see that, man. Everywhere. Moving pictures. I It'd be so weird, man. Because you would be like, you would have to be running electricity through the shirt, right? I don't know how that would work, man. I feel like at some point they're going to do stuff like that, though. Because they already have it on like helmets and stuff. Hats. Alright, so it's coming back. Going into here. Uh, I think we're going to wrap up right here. Yeah, this is pretty good. What about those images that look different from different angles? That requires depth. I know what you're talking about, but that requires depth. Because how that works is... Um, you need to have the image kind of stick out. You know what I mean? Because a lot of those optical illusions that you're talking about, like, they're just laid out in a really weird way. Like, if you were to sit right here, it looks flat. But then if you were to sit right here, it's going to be like this. Right? It's, there's a lot of, like, random pieces that kind of make the picture. And it's only you could see it from an angle. So it's like, I don't know if you could do that on shirts just because they're flat, right? You're going to get the text. That's it. So it's tough, man. Oh, let's send this guy back. He doesn't need to be here anymore. Let's send you home, dude. We only got, uh, brought you here to grab some lettuce. Come on now. Stop eating. We got to go home. Come on. Home time. Let's go. What the fam? Old school shinies, holographic shirts. That is pretty old school. And then uh, Flipilla to come back. Oh, nice. All right, guys. This is going to be where we're going to wrap up for tonight. So next time, we're going to have to build the reactor, launch the uh, rocket into the tear. We're going to save George. And we're going to wrap it up. So guys, this is going to be it for me today. And I think we're going to be done with this playthrough very soon. Well, the thing with it is that you put it through a couple washes, it might not have that effect anymore. Because that's the thing with prints, right? You could put a nice image, not even a holographic one, on your shirt. And then if you watch it a, do a dozen times, you're going to start having parts of it, like, uh, rip off, right? That's the thing. Like, we don't know how it's going to deal with the water or the heat from using it in a dryer. Right? I think the heat's going to do more damage, too. Because it's going to make the uh, elements kind of, like, lose moisture. That it's going to, you know, it's going to break, right? It's going to be more crumbly. And then it's like, 
does that also dull the color, less shine? Who knows, right? So it's, it's like, you know, what happens when you wash, right? First time, it's going to look amazing. But after that, though, it's like, you got to wonder. So guys, let's get that saving.